I really have a baby in kindergarten. That's insane. I feel like I'm just entering this whole new mommy era. Do not take a video of me and post this on the internet. This is just for us, okay? I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. I personally love Ritual and I have been taking their supplements for years. They are by far my favorite brand of vitamins to take because you can take them with or without food and you won't be nauseous and they have the slightest little hint of mint smell and they come in these cute little translucent capsules. So I was super excited when I found out they came out with a symbiotic supplement. If you know me, one thing I'm always gonna recommend to someone is a probiotic because the benefits are so amazing, not only for your gut health, but also for your immunity because 70% of your immune system lives in your gut and ritual symbiotic is so special because it contains a unique combination of prebiotics probiotics and postbiotics their symbiotic plus is designed to target mild and occasional digestive discomforts such as bloating gas and irritable bowel movements which all work together to support the balanced gut microfloria take charge of your gut health today and experience the difference that the symbiotic plus can make Ritual is having their biggest sale of the year, so don't miss out on this opportunity to get 40% off your first purchase with my code McKenna40, and I'll leave a link in the description box below. Thank you again to Ritual for sponsoring today's video. Welcome back to a vlog. Today is Monday, August 7th, and I've been up for a little while. It's like 11.30 right now, and... I've just been mainly doing some work and putting some stuff together downstairs in the office so i'll show you guys that and give you a little update in a little bit but hopefully fingers crossed i know i've been talking about the office slash podcast room for forever but i'm pretty sure it's going to be like completed this week so hopefully that'll all be done but um today's just like a regular regular monday like i said i worked a little bit this morning i never got around to like picking up the rest of my stuff so that's what i'm about to do right now is just kind of like clean up my room a little bit before i sit down and eat lunch i've been up since 5 a.m your girl is back on her zoom okay check me out on the short form content which y'all would have should have already seen before this but i've been waking up at 5 a.m okay i'm like really in my in my big mom era oh yeah it was carter's first day of school today hold on let me put y'all down okay let me tell you about carter's first day. <laughs> well i have to pick him up i have to pick him up here in like 45 minutes um so I was gonna like eat a little lunch and then go pick him up. But yeah, it's his first day of kindergarten today. And I set him up like his little thing or decorations on his door. And he loved that and he was super excited. He just jumped out the car and he went right in the school cause we weren't allowed to like walk them in. Um, and he just, yeah, he just jumped out without me. And he was just basically like, bye. He was really happy and excited to go. And then they have this app at their school where the teachers can communicate with you. So their teacher sent me a message a little while ago and was like, he's doing really great. He has strong leadership skills. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing like how he progresses this year, kindergarten, whatever. So <sighs> I was a little anxious. My chest was a little tight when I dropped him in, dropped him off. Cause it's like one of those things where like, you're not walking in with him. So you're not seeing, you know what I'm saying? So it made me like, <sighs> but nevertheless, I think he'll do fine and he'll be okay. I'm excited to hear all about his day and who his friends are and just every little thing and how just everything went. So I'm excited to pick him up. He has two half days for the beginning of the week as like trial days. So it's basically like an opportunity for first time kids at the school or kindergartners to go and just kind of like practice, walk into their classroom, meeting their teacher, like just, you know, interacting, getting to know their classmates and stuff like that. Then his first official day is Wednesday, but they also have a half day on Wednesday but a half day until like two o'clock it's like early release so and then he has Thursday Friday so I really have a baby in kindergarten that's insane so I feel like I'm just entering this whole new mommy era like it's just different now so anyways I need to make up my bed that was the one thing I didn't do this morning I was super productive other than I forgot to make my bed but I wanted to like make sure everybody was up and on time especially carter for school so i took some extra time getting him ready this morning and helping him with his uniform and stuff so let's make up the bed really fast and then go downstairs i think we're gonna do like a factor meal for lunch and then kind of figure out what we're gonna do for the rest of the day protecting my peace for so long a little too good now i'm so low Watching reruns of the same shows Almost everybody on my no-show Even with green lights I don't go Never been sure, no I don't know How does everybody has to let go Of the ego Don't go out nearly as much as I should Barely know the way around my neighborhood I'm ruminating, I feel no good Not living life like I know I could Like I know I could Like I know
Okay, I did get in a little haul from my favorite Skims. She dropped uh, the outdoor collection for this season and I got a couple things because it's going to be winter time. I don't know why she dropped it so early or fall, but it's hot here so I won't be able to wear it for a minute, but I did go ahead and get it. So I got the zip up jacket. Um, the lighting here is not that great, but it's just a black, just a black zip up. And then I just got the matching yoga pants to go with them. They have the flared bottoms or boot cut bottoms, the large band. So I just figured, y'all know this is like my everyday attire. So I just got it in a couple different colors. The brown, the pants, y'all know I'm a, give me a set, give me a set. I'll grip, I just, her material's just, if you, it's, 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 it's just not debatable. She just has a good source for the product, okay, like, they're stretchy, but like, knitted but soft. It's just literally all of the things. So I also got it in the gray. The gray is definitely going to look good. Um, everybody always talks about gray sweatpants for men, but gray sweatpants or leggings for girls? Uh. Oh. <laughs> Joking but not. And then the little jacket. I guess I could try the jacket on. I didn't really... Let's see what the fit is getting. Okay, I'm pretty sure I ordered everything a size medium. Fits good. I don't know how I feel about the neck. Carter's home from school. It's safe to say he had a good day. Me and him are about to sit down and watch a movie together because Carson and Carmelo are asleep. Anyways, he had a good day. He said he met his teacher, but he said they didn't do anything all day but like eat lunch and watch a movie. So I was like, do you want to go tomorrow? Because technically the first required day is Wednesday and he's like, yeah, I want to go tomorrow. So I was like, okay, he can go, but. Y'all know my noodle baby, baby, wanted some noodles. So I'm about to. Make him some noodles. I'm trying to be quiet because the kids are upstairs asleep. <laughs> I had to run out. I think I told y'all like I was cleaning up the closet and then I looked down at my phone and I had put an alarm to go pick him up and I thought it, they got out at 12.30 and so I started looking at my phone at like 11.58 and I was like, is it 12 or 12.30? And it was 12 so I had to get in the car and just like, whoosh, zoom up there really quickly. I don't really like carpool pickup lines. It's just really not my vibe. So I'm probably, I don't know. I was like, maybe I'll park. They, they said they don't want you to walk to pick up the kids from school, but I'm like, listen. Anyways, so yeah, that was interesting. Cause like they have a map. It's like two lanes depending on which grade your kid is in. And so I was trying to go in the one that I thought was the lane, but then everybody was getting over. I was like, paint the sidewalk the color of the, like, cause they sent us this map and it's like color coded to show you what line is for what grade. Just paint the sidewalk. It'll make it so much easier. Some of us need a little bit of <laughs> assistance, okay? But anyways, the plan for right now is just make him his noodles. We're going to eat. I'm going to eat. I'm probably, I don't know. Let me see what factor meals I have. Because I'm like, I don't know if I want to have a factor meal or if I want to eat noodles. Because these low-key be coming in clutch when I be hungry at night. Mm, I do like their chicken. I think I'm going to heat this up after his noodles are done. It's like this herb chicken with mashed potatoes and green beans. But yeah, we're gonna eat, we're gonna sit down, we're gonna watch whatever he's watching together, just snuggle up, spend some time, and then wait for Carmelo and Carson to wake up and then just kind of get into like the evening routine. We'll probably go outside for a little bit, play, throw the football, and then, you know, just start getting ready for dinner. And then. But yeah, tomorrow we're gonna be starting, we're moving the grass to get the concrete poured. I've pretty much got almost everything besides I need to place an order for Carson's balloons for his birthday kind of already mapped out. 
Bon appétit. Don't start acting like that because you think you've grown now because you come home to kindergarten and you think you're just big. Do you know how to make your own noodles? What? Do you know how to make your own noodles? No. Okay, then you're not grown. But I'm still grown. You said I'm big. No. Why you're big, but you're not grown. Grown means you pay bills. Hey mom, this looks like a shark. This is the shark's tail, and this is their um, and this is their um thing, so people can see it. Okay, yeah. That was the most elite nap I've had of all time. That's the longest nap I've ever taken, practically ever. Like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I needed that so bad. Midday naps are about to come become my thing. And I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I, I'm taking a nap. Like, oh, that was so great. Today was great. Today was great. I just feel like something about today just like shifted like my whole just like, I don't know. I don't know. I basically got, became a whole different type of mom. I nap. I nap. I have a child in school, like, no, I'm kidding, but anyways, I just got up for my nap, and I realized my shirt rolled up, and then, you know, when you're sitting down, I was, I went, I got up and I went pee, my stomach is getting so big, I need to go to the gym immediately, so I'm trying to debate if I want to get a gym membership, or... If I want to get some workout, like some weights and stuff, and work out at home in the backyard. Because that was my plan, originally. Because I just really don't like going to the gym. I probably won't go to the gym, even if I get a membership. I just... I'll probably have to get some workout stuff in the backyard. <coughs> I still can't get rid of that little dry cough. Anyways... I'm about to start on dinner. Carmelo. Oh, I put this together earlier. Voila. Got it off Amazon. I just wanted it in here. I think I'm going to do wallpaper on this wall. Maybe. I haven't decided yet because I still have... We need to go to Home Depot this week. I had to been saying I'm going to go to Home Depot and I haven't gone. But I want to get some paint samples. I want to get paint samples for the whole house because I want to paint my room. I want to do the kids' rooms. Um... Like, I just don't like the white walls, like, I, which is crazy because that's something I looked for in a house. Like, if the walls were painted gray in any house that I looked at, I was like, immediately, no. Like, I don't want it because it just feels so dark. But, I don't know, my style is just kind of like, I'm blossoming. I'm like a butterfly. Carson and Carmelo are still so... It's to me. I want to try like a different type of nighttime routine. <clears throat> How long will you sleep? For a while, for about an hour and a half. Um, I like your gold things. Thanks. Every time I was trying to sleep though, Carter would come behind me and be like, What do you say? Like, tap me. I'm like, <laughs> Mom, watch this. I can do this. Ready? <coughs> Sit. I don't know. You could probably do it better on that trampoline. Come here. What? You have some crumbs on your lips. That's because it's a pussy. He got his daddy head. Mom, those are his crumbs. My, my lips always be red. What? what? I like my red, but my, my lips red. Oh, you had a crumb on them. Yeah, I don't he eat has that. a literal six pack. It's insane. Him and his dad are just like the most like toned people. Like Aaron had a six pack the entire what? time. I like I've known him like since we were like 12. <coughs> and Carter has like abs. I'm like, I just don't, I don't understand. Like even his like pectoral muscles like show, like every little like muscle in his arm and his back. <laughs> I need to call. I need to call the shop and to see when my car is coming out. Okay. I bet you a thousand It happened when it started on my car. Can I do it over the phone? Oh, damn. 
Okay. Yeah. That's okay. I'll probably just sit up there in a while. Okay. Sounds good. I knew it. I knew they didn't start on my car. I'm so mad. I should be getting my car back this week. But I knew, like, they haven't called me or updated me. And I was like, but they just have this thing where they're like, they send you the diagnostics and then they tell you to go in and improve and approve what you want fixed on the car. So I like went ahead and I approved everything. And then it's like, okay, great. We're going to get started on your car immediately. I knew I should have called them. And they're like, uh, we haven't even, uh, and, uh, just say you didn't start. Just say you didn't start because you didn't look. And then now it's going to be another two weeks. Boy. <coughs> <coughs> and then it's time for my Honda to go get maintenance and go to the shop and stuff. I just... <sighs> it's okay. It's like a lesson I had to learn twice because apparently I can learn it the first time. But it's it's whatever i thought it was gonna rain today we need rain so bad y'all my sprinklers run every other day and my grass is fried from this heat like dead don't even worry about it it's dead oh the trash people finally decided to come together we do better did they skip my trash bin oh what the hell in the ass why do they see me see them I want to just go off on them. They are so, like, even if we flatten the boxes and put them on the curb, they still won't take them to the trash. City of Dallas. Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Count your days. I'm about to come down there. I'm about to come down there. Me and my neighbors have had boxes out that they just, they just don't pick up. I'm like, well, who's supposed to pick it up? Is that not a part of track life? I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. <laughs>
Happy Tuesday. Today, I don't know. I'll be wanting to tell y'all, but I really don't know what's going on today, to be honest. I'm working a little bit this morning. About to make my bed up just because I came upstairs to grab y'all because you already know what time it is. I literally have an Amazon addiction. <laughs> Ugh, but... I want to at least put my bed together a little bit so I can be in the habit of kind of just making it up in the morning. I woke up a little bit late this morning. We all did, honestly. The kids, I had to wake every single one of the kids up. And Judah slept until like 8.30, which is like unheard of. So I don't know if this is like a back to school, their brains, just I don't know what the deal is. But I mean, I'm not complaining. The morning still went smoothly. Carter was excited. I asked him, like, I saw some of the other parents walking in. So I was like, do you want me to walk in with you? Or do you want me to just drop you off? He was like, I want to get up by myself. I was like, okay, Mr. Independent. He had a really good day yesterday, so I'm happy for him. And then the boys have a football practice today. But I decided... Every year I do this. I'm like, I go to the first couple practices and then I'm like, nah, nah, nah. I'd rather just take the time, slow cook me a little dinner, a little meal, have a little self-care night, watch a little TV or something. So that's what's on the agenda for the most part. I need to steam my sheets horribly. But anyways, the landscapers or construction, I don't really know what the specific term would be, but they're pouring the concrete today. So they've been out in the backyard and they're digging up the grass today and rerouting the pipes and sprinklers. So this whole process will take about seven days or like a full week 
um i don't know how long they're gonna be here but they got here at like eight o'clock and they're just working on digging up the grass and stuff right now so that's going on luckily it's not that loud um so yeah i got a couple of things i wanted to open up with you guys so let's go down to the office but i also have to hop on a meeting in like 10 minutes so i might have to do my meeting really quickly first i've also really been off my cleaning schedule this week which yesterday i didn't really have an excuse today i'm a little bit busier with work so i kind of have an excuse so yeah i don't know exactly what i'm gonna do about that but i do need to clean the house so maybe i'll do that tonight while the kids are at practice um because mellow usually they don't get home until well they actually shorten practice at first it was two hours now it's just like an hour maybe hour and a half ish um but the plan is to just make dinner and then spend some time with the mellow schmello and then maybe i'll probably just like take that time to like clean up a little bit but i feel like i'm in a better routine now i feel like it always takes me like a gazillion years to figure out what my good routine is but so lately or not lately as of yesterday you know what i'm saying <laughs> yesterday kind of felt good because like our evening routine was more so like I'm still like working out the kinks but I like the flow of yesterday and I had like Carter and Carson pick who wanted to cook and who wanted to help clean so I'm just gonna have them rotate those days on the days they don't have football practice so like for example Carson helped me clean on Monday so that was a time for us to like bond and do something together while well, Carter chilled and then Mello was also chilling watching Miss Rachel so that was helpful because when I feel like I'm trying to cook or do stuff while like they're all running around it's like they're constantly arguing fighting loud and it just gives me like a lot of anxiety and then it's hard for me to get stuff done so i'm trying to like have them be more interactive with me and whatever i'm doing to kind of eliminate the like you know them in their own chaos and not being productive so yesterday went really good so i'm probably gonna stick with that on mondays and wednesdays and then just have carter cook with me on wednesday and then mellow i mean and then carson can help clean after dinner and um yeah, I'm also gonna thinking about maybe doing Mello's dinner separately from Carter and Carson because Carter and Carson really, they don't go to bed as early as Carmelo. They go to bed like like two hours later, so they don't really need to eat dinner as early, but for Mello, he needs to eat because then he does his bath and then he goes to bed, right? So I'm thinking about maybe doing Mello's dinner separately, like just his whole nighttime routine separate from Carter and Carson's and seeing how that works. But anyways. We're just taking it day by day but i finally feel like i have a little bit more of a grip on things i know i've talked to you guys a lot about just like having a third kid has been like and so challenging as far as like just creating like a stable routine and schedule because i feel like i function really well off a of routine and schedule but it's just been so hard for me to like find a rhythm because it's like this baby goes to bed early then you have the other two and then it's like i want to make sure that i'm like giving all of them some type of individualized attention and you know spending time with them so anyways it's getting easier i think as Melo gets older too it'll get easier the one thing i always have to remind myself and i try to remind everybody else is like being a mom has so many different seasons but that's the good thing about it is like the bit well bittersweet because it's like you love the little baby stage but like you'll come out of that season of feeling like overwhelmed and having all that anxiety and not being able to like create a schedule as they get older and they kind of like shift and you can make their routine more so fit your routine but in the beginning it's just mostly like you have to adapt to whatever schedule they're on and that i think is why it's been hard but <sighs> sorry that was a mouthful my mouth I'm trying to drink water because my mouth is really dry and i have my big gallon cup oh it's in the couch i was like where did i put it anyways i actually think i'm gonna have to hop on my call really fast before i open up this stuff but I got a couple things in the mail it really looks like more than it probably is but i've been mostly just getting stuff for the house so i need to open those up and then i got a new tinco vacuum that i want to open up it's the vac mop um and i thought that would be a better alternative for me trying to keep like just the floors in general clean but the upstairs because i was talking about getting like a robot vacuum mop up there but i really didn't want to invest in another one because they're so expensive and the tinco vacuum mop is still expensive but i just thought it was like a better alternative and then i can also use it downstairs and it just kind of saves time because it vacuums and mops at the same time so it's just like i don't have to go back and sweep and mop i can just kind of like get it done so i think that will help me be a little bit more efficient 
in my cleaning, especially like keeping the upstairs floors clean, which they pretty much are for the most part because we don't wear shoes upstairs. I try not to wear shoes in the house at all. Like Aaron is really big about that. Like he'd be telling everybody, take your shoes off the door. But me, I'm more passive and I'd be not wanting to make people uncomfortable. So I just be like, but the kids take their shoes off when they come in the house. They don't walk around the house with shoes on. So anyways, random thoughts of the day. <laughs> But, yeah, it's almost 10 o'clock. The morning flew by. I did not wake up at 5 a.m. this morning. I feel like that really pushed me back. Even though it didn't, like, I still got done everything that I normally do in the morning. But I'm just kind of like, I should have got up. But I just stayed up way too late, late last night talking to one of my friends on the phone. And I should have just got off the phone. But I'm going to start putting my phone on Do Not Disturb. And just start, like, I got to set hard boundaries in order to get where I want to be. Because I just be like. You know, I just be too teeter-totter, like, back and forth. Like, I really need to be consistent, so I need to have, like, hard boundaries with myself. Like, I'm going to sleep at no later than 10 p.m. Like, I'm going to bed, and I'm waking up. Like, I have to just be more non-negotiable with myself. <laughs> so, anyways, I think she said she was going to call me in 15 minutes, approximately 15 minutes ago. Yeah, it's been about 15 minutes, so I'm just going to wait for her call. And then after I talk to her, I'll come back in chop it up with y'all and we'll open this up i think we're gonna be able to i told y'all yesterday i think the wood panels are coming in today so if i go to home depot um we should, might be able to we might be able to get this thing done and then i do need to get switch out the curtains like somebody mentioned the curtains are not all the way to the ground which i thought they were gonna be when i was doing the measurements but they don't and then i i just honestly just like i want something a little bit loose and flowier than these curtains or maybe i just need to steam them i don't know i'm gonna look on amazon and take these to have um get some help taking these down and then return them and try to find a different alternative but we also should be getting our shutters installed this month too which i'm excited about because then i can kind of like move the kids back into their original rooms and spaces and i don't have to have that ugly blackout thing on the windows anymore so okay there's my meeting so i will talk to you guys in just a moment okay let's open up our stuff if y'all hear we got a lot going on today construction um the lawnmower guy comes every tuesday maybe i should make he's the landscaping guy the landscaping guy who does mows the grass he comes on tuesday so it's a little bit loud but we need to get get it on the road I've been sitting at my computer a little longer than I thought I was. Okay, first of all, it's like things like this that you never think you're going to be excited about as an adult, but I got a leaf blower. Um, I mainly just got it because we need to be able to like the bugs, you know, the pest control sprays. So like it's always like crickets and stuff that will die like right by the front door. And I'd be trying to sweep them up, but I just went a little leaf blower so I could just blow them away so i found this inexpensive uh cordless one that you recharge the battery off of amazon um and he like our guy he usually does it like on tuesdays when he comes but then it's like a whole just like collection of bugs for the rest of the week so i wanted to get one and then i can also use it to blow off the patio blow off the patio like you know like just clear off the patio and stuff i also want to get like a water pressure hose for back there as well to clean everything off but I'm gonna just wait until we get the concrete done and all that kind of stuff. So it comes with like all these different attachments, I guess. Let's open her up. It's <laughs> the battery charger. And the battery. There's a user manual in there too, but who needs that when you can DIY yourself? It's already charged. It's already charged up. Let's go try it out. It's supposed to be pretty powerful, so and it's lightweight, which I was like, that's perfect. Alright, 
Tintin would recommend that. That's my new favorite adulting thing. Okay, I got in a package from Kapari, some PR. I think, I don't, if they drop something new. Got a ton of paper. Okay. Ooh. They've been listening to the girls. Not sure though. Is there anything else in here that we missed? A note. It has my name on it. I think that's so sweet. Like a lot of brands will just like send out PR, but they will just like, um, like sometimes not always personalized hi mckenna we hope you have love our coconut spritz mist it's perfect for post shower hydration and midday refresh we can't wait to hear what you think team kapari we had to throw in our favorite shower your favorite shower oil yeah i love the kapari safety shower oil it smells so good but i'm excited about this so y'all know i have the coconut spray by mario badescu but kapari was like oh we're gonna do we're gonna do one by the way when rants and stuff like not obligated to like post about it or say anything but i am because it's just like a cool package i got in the mail so i'm like i'm gonna try it out yeah they did their big one on this oh i love the kapari smell it's like this like i don't even know how to explain it it's like it's coconutty but it's like i don't know how to explain it it does smell like coconuts but it just smells really good this is definitely better than the mario Podescu, uh coconut body spray like as far as like moisture wise like the coconut or the mario badescu one it's like a body oil and it just like kind of like does what an oil does you know like an oil doesn't really like moisturize your skin but it just like seals in all the hydration this is actually like really moisturizing and you can almost tell like it has like a little bit of like maybe like a cream mixed into the spray what is the name of it coconut spritzing body mist hydrating body yeah this is love i actually like this a lot Okay, Kapari, we got some more of the Sudsy shower oil. That dried down and said nothing. It's like a lotion, but in a spray. Yeah. Yeah. I love it because I'm a lazy lotioner. I'm such a lazy lotioner. Like, it'd be just taking too long to rub in. I'd be like, get somebody else to do it. Everybody's picking the wrong time to be lonely. Okay. Okay. The only other thing I got, I for some reason thought I had something else, but oh, I don't. I got another Tinco vacuum. I was waiting for the lawnmower to go off, but now there's a plane flying by. We need better soundproof houses. No noise out, no noise in. Okay. So I got the Tinco vacuum. This is what I was doing all about. Ooh. So we're gonna unbox her and put her together. I think her home station is gonna be in the laundry room. So I wanna go ahead and do this because I would definitely wanna use this to clean up. Um, I was having a little bit of issues with my robot vacuum mop. Like everything was going, nothing's wrong with the actual vacuum mop, but like it caught a sock the other day and then it stopped running. Not like running, but like, you know, it stops mid thing if it gets jammed up. And so it's, that's just been happening a lot. Like I've been forgetting, I guess, little things. Um, so I know the floors need some extra love. So I'm gonna just go ahead and and open this up i cannot move away from my computer though like i can't take my phone anywhere because i'm trying to import some footage over here so i'm trying to be on my shorts grind because apparently youtube is now forcing us into that algorithm like if you don't do shorts we're not showing your content and i i did like a little day in my life shorts vlog yesterday but y'all somehow the footage is two hours long i'm like it's a shorts how am i gonna make that 60 seconds ain't no way ain't no way ain't no way ain't no way what do y'all want to see on shorts? What do you want to see from me personally on shorts? Like mini vlogs, do my life vlogs, or do y'all want to just see like Amazon stuff? You know what, you know, you know what? People who don't do lifestyle on social media really crack the code to that shit. I swear to you, like they are the elites. They are the elites of content creation. 
because it's like you don't not that i'm saying like anything they're doing is easier or less work but it's like they don't have to show their face they don't have to worry about people commentating on personal things and but they still get to do the same exact thing you know what i mean or like the asmr the asmr girlies who just clean and restock their fruit or pack lunches i'm like i want to be like you my boy <laughs> i want to be like you no i love vlogging and i love talking to y'all it's just like i think it just comes with more like emotional strain when you do like lifestyle and vlogs and like and stuff like that as opposed to just like creating content because then well, it also depends i guess on the type of content creator you are like some people just live their lives based off like creating content but i'm out here just trying to make it day by day so <laughs> we're a chaotic mess okay i don't want to go to the laundry room my house has overwhelming number of just boxes because they won't pick up the trash. So now I'm gonna have to call somebody to get the trash. Got up my Halara shorts today. These are actually so comfortable. First of all, the water is already disgusting. And I only did that little patch of the floor. I'm just honestly like baffled. I really honestly did not think it was gonna be that dirty. Shut the freak up. Only thing I will say about these is like, you have to make sure that you clean out the parts like every single day or they will stink so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm deep cleaning the floors tonight for sure, so don't even worry about it. I'm so extremely shy when other people are around when it's time to film. So I'm sitting down on the floor because the windows are just wide open and everybody could see me. <laughs> but y'all, I'm gonna mop the floors until that water runs clean. Because ain't no way, ain't no way, it's that dirty. <sighs> did I, I guess I did talk to y'all yesterday and I had taken my braids down. I washed my hair last night, but I'm not doing anything with my hair. I don't care. I know it's gonna look a mess. I know I'm gonna look back and be like, girl, your hair is, don't care. I'm getting my hair done on the 14th, which is next Monday. So I'm not doing nothing else to my hair until I go get it done. I'm gonna need some like boho small knotless braids. I'm gonna keep them in for a while and probably just do touch ups with that. But yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing nothing else to my hair right now. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like putting no products in it. I got a deep conditioner in it. It's in a bun and that's how we rocking. Okay. Um, I gotta go check my computer and see if any of my footage is done loading yet and then i'll probably just check back sorry my armpit's itching for some reason <laughs> i'll check back in with y'all um probably a little bit later oh what time is it see i'll be i'll be tripping oh, i'm like okay i got an hour till i have to pick carter up from school but it keeps like catching me off guard and i'm like Oof, am i gonna be late picking him up no lashes even better when you wake up Ooh, that Susie song is stuck in my head anyways it it looks like Anyways, that's a shower, a midday shower. You know, you just need a little reset. I didn't get my nap today because the guys are still here and there's a lot of people like just like coming back and forth talking to me today because we got to figure out what we're going to do with the sprinklers. So we ended up, we ended up capping them off um, instead of moving them, which is what I figured we were going to do in the first place, just because we don't need them in that area anymore anyways. So I've been chilling, hanging out with the boys since Carter got home from school. We've just been on the couch, just like, bumming it for the whole afternoon but i'm not mad about it um i just didn't get to actually close my eyes and rest so i'm a little bit tired so we're gonna have our evening caffeine and then i was trying to think what i wanted to do for dinner like if i just want to go ahead and cook dinner now and the boys can eat it before they go to football or cook it when they're gone 
and just make something like quick right now. I think I'm just gonna make dinner. That way I don't have to do it. And I can just sit down and chill for like an hour till I get home, put them to bed, and then go immediately to sleep because. Uh oh, Bob. SpongeBob's bringing back childhood. Childhood. Let's look at the recipe cards and see what we're gonna make today. This takes 35 minutes to make. It's chicken with cranberry sauce. I'm not really in the mood for flatbread. I'm not really in the mood for pasta either, but this only takes 25 minutes and the energy level I have today is giving me 25 minutes, so. Chicken thighs. I'm gonna wash these, pat them dry, season it. Boiled water. It'd be really the prep that be taking me out. Okay, you gotta wash everything, you gotta dry everything, you gotta dice everything. Let's just start with step one. So you look good without no makeup, no lashes, even though Oh, I don't want to get addicted to naps, but that was really the vibe yesterday. Like, I'm not even going to lie to you. Yeah. That was elite. I felt so good for the rest of the day. But at least I don't have to go to football practice today. Yay, yay. I'm just a supportive mom that wants to go to the games. I wouldn't mind going to practice if it just wasn't so late. But we didn't have to wake up so early. One of the two. One of the two. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're back from wiping lips. I guess I'm gonna just put y'all down and cook. I'll be wanting to talk to y'all, but then I also be knowing like, it's like hard to see both. I need to set up my other camera so I can have like some more angle so I can still talk to y'all, but then y'all can also see me cooking. Let me go see if I can do that with you guys. Top when I speak, all cap with the speech till they cut up in the rapture. I'm so out of line with the phrase game. Let's take a break, pin a long day. Hit your line with your fog group with the light sticks. Maybe help me spark the eye. Is our first renovation possibly gone wrong already? Find out in the next 60 seconds. Whew. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. Okay, so basically, I think we have a misunderstanding, yeah. That's not nine feet at all. Okay. Oh, I went in one. Okay. That door locks behind you. Okay, anyways. So this is the progress that we've made so far. But I like moved the pipe. Dug up this over here. But this part is supposed to go like like double this, like way further out. This is not enough. They're saying like this is nine feet, but there's no way that's nine feet because that's not even as long as my body and I'm five foot. So I'm confused, I'm confused, I'm confused. Like it's not a big deal, they can, they're still gonna do it, but it's just like they would have done that part today already. But that's definitely not what I was thinking. I definitely want more concrete than that. Or should I just stick with that? I don't know. Let's go inside. It's too hot for this. <laughs> I was looking at that all day too. And I even asked them like, are you, or are we going all the way out? Cause, and he was like, yeah, we're just starting with this. But I'm like, no. I know that's going to happen. Just running through the field, saying vivid for the ears. I know that's how they like it. Yeah, I fantasize it. Tell me that it's real when it's all said and done. I said it how I fit it. I let him hear the fear of a passive aggressive. Angry black man with a passion. Steady grip when I shoot to the stars with a full clip. Try and line with the loose sleep. Then I proofread till I lose sleep. Couldn't handle the truth when you're there with the right. Love at first sight. Art over hype. Need a sound bite for the time capsule. Press play to cause time for a bit. Smitten, I need.
and they couldn't kick it. I'm in love with the fine print, scribble type of thing. They really find behind it. Why the fish is behind the eyelid? Tell a reckless with the claws. It's careful with the cost. Need it forever, but I never ever stop until they put me in the coffin or they off me. <laughs> they cook the auction, they false print. I wish we could shoot with the caution. Hold the ten toes down for the dog. Okay. I just finished cleaning downstairs. The boys are still not home, so I'm just gonna like tidy up their rooms a little bit. I got their diffusers charged, so I want to bring them up and turn them or humidifiers. But they also have night lights on them. So like they, you can change the color from orange to red. I thought there was blue on there, but I guess there's not. Anyways. Or you can turn it off, but they are a pretty large tank. They do have filters that you can change out, and it came with extras, so I'm just going to set that. Set that on his little nightstand. I got the exact same one for Carter's room. Well, really for Carmelo's room, but he already has one, but I was going to put that one in my room because I also want to have one in my room just because I feel like it's good to have. But, um, Carter's is so small, I don't really feel like it's going to, like, do what it needs to do, so I'll probably end up returning it and just getting another one of these if I like these. I'm trying to see. It's not putting off, like, a ton of water so i don't really know how i feel about that mellows is like a lot like it's a lot this is really not that much so i might end up returning these two i guess we'll just have to see maybe if it was in like a smaller space but this is a big room for it to only be letting off like so much humidity i guess but we're getting our shutters in this friday um so this is going to become mellows room basically um and then carson is gonna have the bigger room that way i was just waiting for the shutters so the room could be dark because Milo won't really sleep if it's not dark um and then eventually we'll get a door put right here i just probably like close this off entirely so it won't be like a loft space anymore <clears throat> but anyways i'm just about to pick up the rest of their toys and um vacuum and mop over their floors I'm going to just be waiting up on them until they get home regardless so I can tell them goodnight and stuff. So I think they should be home pretty soon. But yeah, I'm just going to clean up. So this is your sign. This is your sign. Listen, I do this for y'all. So if I can do it, y'all can do it. You know what I'm saying? Let this be your motivation. <clears throat> get up and get it done. You just got to. It's just life. We, You know? This life chose us. We didn't choose it, but we have to make the best of it. So we're going to do so by having nice, tidy spaces and taking care of our shit. Okay. It's really not that much in here. I just got to like, it's really just toys and stuff that's on the floor. <clears throat> but I'm about to put my headphones back on, listen to my little podcast. The lighting in here is not really that great because it's about to be dark and I don't think I'm going to film. Maybe I will. Start putting the title to every single video I do. Cleaning motivation. I can hear Mello. I need to be quiet. He's like rolling around. I don't even see her his sound machine. That is one thing. Curly hair me is giving 12 years old. Mom, I can do this. 
play cards. Huh? I can do players. That looks like cool looking thing. I don't know what that one. It's mandatory if you're a mom, you get one the first bite of every snack you open. She's downstairs. She's it's Wednesday. Office. And we're about to get in a podcast here because I'm about to tell you about my day. Hold on, because I know Carter's going to come here and say something to me. Okay, anyways, so a little update. Look at my microphone that's not um, recording on this audio. Mic testing, one, two. Can y'all see the camera right there? My chicken, what is that? That's not the camera. Oh, that was the camera. We're already failing. Okay, anyways, let me tell you all about my day. First of all, it was the first real day of school today, and I'm about this close to snatching Carter out of school. I cannot. Why ain't nobody tell me about the carpool lines? The carpool lines 45 minutes long no we're parking across the street and walking yeah not finna scam me the way they do it is so dumb i'm literally beefing with this man at seven o'clock in the morning in a carpool lane then again this afternoon i'm like no nah, forget about it i thought i left earlier this morning like i would still be cool no cars parked a mile down the block why is y'all getting here an hour before school let out No, immediately no. So, <laughs> anyways, I guess that's becoming a, a actual kindergarten mom. I'm thinking about taking him out, putting him in homeschool. Y'all know I already been saying that, and but I asked him, and he really does not want to homeschool. So, and I know it's like not technically his choice, but for the first couple of years, we're gonna see what it's doing, or at least this year we're gonna test it out. But anyways, besides that, what else happened today? Oh. I went to Home Depot, I got me some nails, we got in the rest of these so we can assemble everything and put it up today or tomorrow, I don't know what day it's going to be, but I know we're going to get it done now. I looked at some paint samples, I really not, I don't, I don't really think I'm messing with any of the paint colors I saw, so I'm going to just look on Pinterest probably and see what colors other people use, excuse me, other people use. Um, beside that and other news. I did a lot of work today, so I'm not talking about that like later in the afternoon. I already picked Carter up from school. Um, Mello's finishing his nap. They're just playing. Um, today is Carter's day to help me cook dinner, so we're going to be doing that. And then Carson will help clean up because that worked well on Monday, so we're just going to switch a room. But <sighs> yeah, the concrete, we got that all figured out. Um, I messaged him and I was like, yeah, I want to go out an additional five feet. And so they're like, okay, cool, no problem, we can do that. I'm like, okay, cool. But then the only problem is I'm looking at it, I'm like, that still don't look like enough. But we're just going to stick with what we got for now um, and leave it at that. And then we're going to put in eventually um, a pool or something. So we'll extend the concrete at some point. I'm practicing for my podcast, um, which I don't know when I'm going to start or what I'm going to talk about in my podcast. But anyways. <laughs> um yeah so that's basically the rundown of the day i spent most of the day working this morning i had a lot of stuff i had to turn in emails and just different stuff like that so it's just a chill day you know work come home hang out with the kids we i was gonna say we got a couple packages we got one package in the mail should we open that now i think we shall i think we shall let me grab it oh that was what i was meaning to come over here and tell you i'm about to get on my ipad I was trying to do this earlier, but then I had left to go to Home Depot, and I thought I was going to do it, and I didn't end up doing it, but I need to finish getting the rest of the stuff for Carson's party, which I think I talked to y'all about, and then I had also inquired with a party planner just to see, and then she had got back to me with her quote, and I'm like, I'm all for it, people. Your price is your price. I ain't never going to tell you that, but I'm not that, because I feel like I'm, I already did the majority of the work. Like, the only thing I really need help with is, like, setup, but I feel like, like, family could just help with setup. Like, it's really not that deep, so... If it was like a big party, then okay, I would understand. But it's not. It's not even going to be like nobody but for real. So anyways, I need to finish placing an order for the balloons and then get some decorations. Okay, we got in a package from Marad. And I'm actually really excited to see what's in here. But it's going to a whole bunch of stuff. Oh, I was actually just about to buy this. No cap. I've been seeing a lot of girls use this on... Um, instagram but it's like a rapid relief sulfur acne mask 
So we'll have to try that out. Then they've got the Essential C Environmental Shield. Is this vitamin C or is this sunscreen? What is this? It's formulated with vitamin A, C, and E. And gels. I'm just doing, oh, it's a cleanser. It's a cleanser. What else is in here? Ooh, vitamin C serum. I love vitamin C serum. Y'all know I've been using, I've been using Mario Badescu, but once my Mario Badescu is done, then I'm going to try this one. I'm going to just keep trying different vitamin C serums and see which one works best for my skin. This one's got glycolic in it. Mm, so I don't know. It says use AM and PM and then use sunscreen during the day. A youthful retinol serum. I stopped using retinol for a little bit because I feel like it was really drying on my face. Um, but I'm sure this one is not as strong as like tretinoin, so... What is this? Step step two. Okay, so oh here's the SPF. SPF. Let's see. Oh, it's tinted. It's not gonna be the right color for me, probably. Ooh, I'm out of line. I feel like it actually blended in pretty well. But I feel like it looks different sometimes when you put it on your face. Like I'll have to put it on my face and see if it leaves a white cast. It's SPF 50 though. And then this is their Nutra Charged Gel Water. So it's a moisturizer. A moisturizer. It smells good. Well, should we have done that? I'm just kidding. I'm like so bored, y'all. I'm well, I'm not even bored. I'm just really tired. And I didn't even wake up that, that early this morning. I still woke up before the kids, but I didn't get up at five. So I be when I don't get up at five, I feel like my days just be dragging. It's like somehow when I be waking up at five, I be having more energy. I don't know what it is. But yeah. I'm tired now. It's 2 o'clock, but I know Melo's gonna wake up, and I didn't have time to take a nap today. This Carter got out of school early. I'm about to go wake Melo up, because it's gonna be past his napping time, because he's not gonna want to go to sleep later, so. I don't know what we're gonna make for dinner tonight. We can either make chicken, or we can make flatbread pizza. Also, packing my kids' lunches has not been going particularly, not not well, like Carter's been eating all his lunches, but Mello and Carson, I was like, oh, I'll pack their lunch and they can just eat it at home. They ain't been eating it, so I'm like, I'm not about to waste this food. Carter's been mostly eating all his lunch, but the only thing he's been wanting for the last two days is yeah. macaroni and cheese. Danger. You are. For what? For something that's scariest. The house is haunted. They have been talking to us and watching us. Mm -hmm. So we have to go inside of my room, okay? That's the only way we'll be safe, okay? Okay. okay. So come with us. Here I come. What? I said, okay, here I come. <coughs> okay, be safe. I'm back. Cooking with Carter. I need to be strong. Oh, wow. Your clothes dirty. What is this? It's a shepherd. I forgot about my head. Okay, you ready? Let's get the recipe. Here it is. It's really loud because the construction outside. What does it say? Cereals, anything, and then bigger pizza to get meal or pepperoni and something good. Pizza, and then you piece over meal. Do we just 
We could just put cheese on it. I don't have to cook this for maybe. You can make your pizza and I can make mine. You, you said you used to make cookies when you were older. When I was older? Yeah. I've never been older. So what do we got to do first? Place lightly oiled baking sheet on top, wrap for four servings, and preheat oven 450 degrees. All right, we got to turn the oven on. For, for what? Small bowl can find the tomatoes, olive oil, and salt and pepper. You can, you can make yours with full. Let me make sure these are so good. It says they're so good. So. You can open these up. Okay. Where am I going to put it on? The pan. What? The pan. I can't open it. Can you ask for help, please? Mm -hmm. Can you help me a moment? Sure. Happy Thursday. It's Thursday and I barely talked to y'all yesterday. I told y'all I just have not talked to y'all like really all week. But I've been like really productive-ish. Like we've been doing a lot. If you can't tell, the wall got mounted. So I knew it was going to be a space at the bottom right there. But I can't tell if I like it or not. But we're going to get into it a little bit later because child... Anyways, then I moved the mirror over here because I was like, I think it looks better on this wall. But now I'm like, this wall needs something. It looks a little blank. So, but you know, it's just going to be a process. I'm not going to wait till everything's fully done in here to like, I was trying to wait till I got it like kind of like set up to like start my podcast. But we just going to, if I do the podcast anyways, because we don't even know if that's really going to happen. I just, that was the idea I had in my head. But I'm going to try. We're going to see what the heck we'll see. Anyways, if y'all can tell, I'm like super, because it's late at night. The kids, if y'all can hear the water running. Carson's in the bath and Carter's in the shower. 
um it's been a long day and i've been wanting to talk to y'all all day and i just like have not got a chance to just kind of like stop and take a minute because the guy was here it took way longer to mount these than i thought it was going to take he was here for like four hours and then oh look we also got so let me just give y'all some updates so look, i'll turn it around this is what it's looking like right now so my idea for right here was to like put some trim right here and then maybe like um like to just like little crown molding piece right here but i really wanted it to go all the way up to just like elongate the wall um or i could order more of the panels and cut them and then put them to size there but we'll see i don't know if that's what's going to happen yet but this is what we're looking like mirror over here please let me know what y'all think in the comments if you watched the last video the mirror was over there before you think i should put it back or i should just get like a neon sign there leave the mirror here and then I'm most likely going to paint the walls. Also, everybody keeps telling me this rug is just not it. Even though I really like it, I'm probably going to end up getting a white rug and returning this one. And then for over here, obviously, it's the same thing. I don't know what I'm going to put there. Eventually, we'll figure it out. And then I just take the cream curtains down because I got some longer white ones that I'm going to put up. I just feel like that's going to look better. My clothes rack, don't know what we're going to do with that. Probably going to put it in the closet. Okay, look. So we got these hung up in here and i think they look really good obviously they don't have pictures on them or anything yet but this was what i was going for like a little gallery wall right here um yeah i don't know what type of pictures i'm gonna do in there if i'm gonna do prints or family photos but this is just what we have right now so let me know and then i'll show you all the progress outside for the patio this whole part is a mess so this is what we've got so far they basically took out the grass here they're gonna have to take out the rest of the grass that's right there and then they extended it out a little bit more and then they're leveling this side so it will be flush with the concrete and then they ran this down over there or like really like over there and then everything is being filled with dirt so all of this is going to be concrete to all the way over here anyways that's a little update on that's just all stuff that happened today and then carmelo and carson got their hair braided today as well so and the camera battery's about to die so can y'all tell what kind of day it's been i mean i haven't been having like bad days or anything i've just been like super productive and like getting just like doing things i had like a lot of like work I've been doing and then just like a lot of well I won't even say it wasn't bad days I've had a lot of running back and forth and just like little hiccups here and there like the guy came I thought I went to Home Depot and got the right nails for this I didn't so then I had to leave I had to go back to Home Depot then I ran out of gas and I went to the gas station the pump I was on wasn't working so I moved to another pump but before I could move to another pump because I had to go inside it was like somebody else had parked there so then I was like I just gotta go home because I had to meet him because he was coming here and then Carson was in the car with me and I had to drive and I had to go to the shop where my range was getting fixed at and that was on the other side of Africa and I thought I bust my tire because it was just a lot so oh, it wasn't a good day I don't know but <laughs> I have been being productive the last two days but I'm gonna catch up with y'all tonight and tomorrow we're gonna have like a full day together like <sighs> an us day a me day a girl's day okay because friday y'all know i get my little lash bill so we're gonna go do a target shopping trip what's new but i actually do have a reason to go so yeah we're gonna do that and then what else y'all oh we're gonna get my nails broke so we're gonna get my nails done um i'm gonna probably get a different pedicure because the girl who did my toes last time she really just i didn't like them and she just didn't shape them right so i don't know i really don't need to get them done they're just white but it's just like she didn't shape them like they're just it looks weird so anyways i don't know about that but um also i'm gonna eat lunch with carter at his school tomorrow which i probably won't you know y'all won't see he's been loving school a little update on carter he had his first full day today and he had a good day he said he already made his little best friend his best friend's name is dj um and they had a good time like they've just been kind of like getting to know each other and like practicing different things in class and stuff like that so we'll see how it goes so far i'm not really i'm not really feeling it to be honest like i'm not feeling it i'm not feeling the carpool line i'm not feeling the energy no i'm just i'm really not i'm really not fucking with it. <laughs> but we're gonna thug it out for a little while see how it goes if ultimately i'm just like nah i can't do this i'm just pulling out i'm just pulling out because 
baby one thing about it i'm not about to be beefing with nobody that my kid goes to school with like it's just not happening so anyways it was a whole car y'all know about the car line situation i was telling y'all about that and then just some more stuff <sighs> they got it's just i'm like i'm grown i don't go to school you're not gonna tell me what i'm gonna do but i'm trying to leave that girl in the past it's just making me like triggering me into being like mm, young me like feisty me like i want to pop off of me Oh, somebody's calling me. Hold on. Should we do a soft launch for the podcast? My testing one, two, one, two. I've really got to figure out all this stuff anyways. Late night podcast chats. I wonder what it will look like in here at night because right now it's obviously daytime. Anyways, like I was saying, sorry, my phone is ringing. I splinted up the stairs real fast. <sighs> but anyways, long story short, it's been, it's been a few days. In a few days but anyways i was thinking about it and i was like oh i was just telling y'all i'm about to have like a whole self-care day go eat lunch with carter but that's probably actually not gonna happen like i'm most likely just gonna be able to get my lashes done and then i'm probably gonna have to place instacart orders for everything else because carter eat lunch, eats lunch really early so it's like lash appointment come back home pick up lunch go eat lunch with carter and then i forgot we're getting our shutters installed tomorrow so yeah, that just puts a whole bunch of jams in my plans because I got to be here while they install the shutters. So, we will not be um doing everything I thought we were just going to do tomorrow. Yikes. Dang, I'm not even going to be able to get my nails done properly. And look at It's okay. This weekend, I am going to sit down and reconfigure my entire schedule for the month of September because I've been telling y'all I just need everything like planned out to a T. I'm about to find me a new uh like a new nail tech, new maintenance people. I'm getting my hair done next Monday. So that will eliminate that for a little while. But I just want to have like everything in order like down to a T. Like my schedule, what it looks like, what the days look like, what I'm doing and so I don't have to be like all out of order and just stick to like a more non negotiable schedule. So it's giving me more doing the podcast but we're not it's just the <laughs> But anyways, okay. <sighs> I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. Uh, I don't know. I got all excited. And then now I'm like, dang, I forgot they were coming to do the blinds tomorrow. Which, I mean, I'm excited about that. But I forgot. Like, that kind of interrupts my day. The day speed. You do one thing and the day is done. You can do one thing per day. Okay, that's all you get. One thing per day. I'm like, dang. I be trying to stack multiple things in a day. No. Now we have kids, baby. No. Day ends at 3.30. Carter comes home from school. Yeah, I gotta get my life together. I need to just sit down, map out the next month. Oh, I gotta go by. Okay, that is one thing I gotta do. So y'all know I've been talking about planning Carson's birthday party and stuff. And um, I was going back and forth about hiring a party planner and doing like the big grand decorations, you know, the Pinterest birthday parties, you know, like the glamorous birthday parties. But I think this year, instead of like spending the money to do all that still, because he's just or I'm just gonna get the balloons and then put some balloons up still do like my own little thing but I'm just not gonna spend thousands and thousands of dollars on decorations for mostly still family and adults to come I think those kind of things will matter more when the kids get older to have like really awesome birthday parties where all their friends come and then it's kind of like that type of thing like don't get me wrong I think if I did that he would still be excited and like very happy about it but I just don't think like I think he'll be happy at four with like the water slide in the backyard and the bouncy house and those are the things that he cares about um and like a cute little cake and I think that is what's going to matter to him the most as opposed to the things that we like as adults like the big signs and the cookies with the, you know what I mean like that kind of stuff I think is more like just aesthetic for adults and the kids don't really care as much about that so he's also getting in some new furniture for his bedroom i decided to switch the themes of their bedrooms y'all know i separated them carson and Mello. if you've been watching they started together then we separated them now carson's gonna have his own room and i got the two beds like the two montessori beds from amazon but i'm returning carson so i'm gonna get him a different bed frame that well i already did get it it's similar to the one carter has but it's gray but it's still a trundle so i'm like okay that's a good that I like the trundle beds. He's gonna have like a basketball themed room and it's gonna be cute. So we're gonna start on that. I said when I moved here, I wasn't gonna do multiple projects at one time, but 
Here we are in the middle of office construction, backyard renovation. Oh, and I'm gonna get a stock tank. So stay tuned for that. If you guys don't know what that is, I'm about to put you on. Cause why, I've never seen this before. I have no idea. I stumbled across it the other day on Instagram on this girl's page. And I was like, oh, I need that because it'll be a while before we get an in-ground pool because they were like, you can't do it during the winter time. So you have to wait till it warms back up. Like next year if we decide to do it. And then I'm just like, okay, it's still just a big project and a big undertaking. So we might not even, I don't know. We're just gonna see, I'm not gonna say anything cause y'all know I'd just be lying. But um, Lord help me, it because I be forgetting things. Like I be forgetting things that I said I was gonna do or did not do and then I do them anyways. And then I forget the reason why I thought about I wasn't gonna do it or do it. Is that anybody else or just me? Okay. But moral of the story, I'm gonna get a stock tank because I think it'll be perfect for the kids. I, it's not as big of a safety concern for me because I can choose to how much water I'm gonna fill up in it and they're not that deep anyways. They can like stand up in it, play in it, but it's still big enough for kids who are like their age to just kind of chill. You can have the options to heat it up in the winter time if you want to too. Um, so I'm currently looking into that. I don't wanna do it myself. A lot of people just DIY it because they say it's really not that hard to do. But I don't want to DIY it. No, but none of us in this house are just handy enough to do to do that yet. We're working on it, but we're not there yet. So <laughs> I think I'm just going to um, see either if I can buy the stock take and the supplies and have somebody else come and do it, or they do have companies that deliver them and set them up. However, I don't know what their back time is, and I'd really like to get this done sooner than later. Like as soon as I get an idea in my head, I'm like execute immediately so yeah i really want to do that i think that'll be fun especially for these last warm months of that we have in texas because it really won't start getting cold here until like maybe october like maybe and that's a maybe it still might be 100 degrees in october anyways okay i'm gonna go finish getting the boys ready for bed because i've been sitting here talking to y'all for seven minutes and i'm gonna go read them books and do their whole little nighttime thing um my updated nighttime routine has been working flawlessly we're a little bit off track today so we're gonna see how that goes but that's because this whole evening was just kind of chaotic because Carmelo and um Carson were getting their hair done and so that just kind of like clonked and then we didn't cook dinner because it was already late so we ate McDonald's but anyways you didn't hear that from me I'll either come back and down here and talk to y'all tonight and finish like just catching y'all up or whatever recapping my thoughts or I'll see y'all tomorrow in the morning either way here we go, here we go, here we go. We gotta get through this um, second shift is what I heard the girls are calling it on the platforms for moms who stay at home with their kids or work from home, anybody, you know, it's just anybody really, but you got, you know, the first half of your day and second half of your day, yeah, I gotta finish this out. I still need to take me a shower, shave. I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight because I've been wetting it every single night and I just need to leave it alone. I can't wait for y'all to see Melo's braids when he wakes up in the morning though. He looks so cute. So does Carson. Oh my gosh, he looks so handsome. Cornrows are definitely Carson's thing. Like I really prefer that on him to plaits. So he's going to be having that from now on because period, he looks so cute. Okay, bye. I'll be back. The lighting is just horrid. Good morning. Guess who started her period? This girl. And I'm not happy about it. I feel like the first day is always the worst day for cramps, but it's like, ugh. I don't know. Like, I feel like nothing really helps me. Maybe let me know. Do y'all take anything that helps? Cause I feel like I take Tylenol. I don't take Midol, which I know is recommended, but Tylenol like does not help with my cramps at all. Like a heating pad and just sitting in the bed is like the best thing for me when I'm on my period. So that's what I plan on doing today. However, we gotta go by Target because I can have this on any longer. I need to get everything set before the weekend. And I was like, I get an Instacart order, but it's a chance that they're not even gonna give everything to me. And then I really didn't wanna go in there because it's like 10 o'clock. And I just know it's gonna be busy. And I get such bad anxiety when there's a lot of people in there. But you know what? We're gonna adult today. We're gonna do adulting and go to Target. So let me, can y'all see me if I sit in this chair? Boom. Okay, so basically on today's agenda, we're going to go to Target. I have some things I need to get for Carter, for myself, because I started my periods. So we're going to get some self-care stuff. Um, and then I need like paper plates, trash bags, those kind of like little things I'm just going to get in person. I will place an Instacart for Kroger for the groceries later so we can get all of like that stuff also reset. Um, 
And then I was gonna clean the house today, but I'm not even gonna lie, like, I'm on my period. I'm not. I'm not. Um, count me. Count me out. So, yeah, the plan is just to go do all that. I thought I had more. Oh, and then I'm gonna take y'all around the house because we got our shutters in stalled. So I wanted to show them to you guys. I'm trying to figure out how. Hold on. So basically, <clears throat> They look like, let me just close, I don't know. Okay, that's good. Okay, so basically this is what the shutters look like. And I'll show y'all like more in depth in the boys' room because it just looks out to the backyard. So anyways, they basically turn like this, like with your hand, you just turn them. So my bed's a mess, but I'm planning on getting right back into it. So we don't even need to worry about that. I just need to put shoes on. <clears throat> grab my purse oh i ate tacos last night <laughs> so let's go this is probably the best room where i could show you an example so this is what the shutters look like we ended up getting our shutters from the budget blinds company don't know if they're actually the most affordable but that's who we ended up going with the lady that we had the consult with was super nice they did take about a month to get in because if y'all remember that vlog um let me set you down so it's, you can see what i'm talking about a little bit better so the room gets pretty dark with the shutters all the way closed i mean it's early in the morning so it's like the brightest that it usually gets on this side of the house right now um but they basically open up halfway like this and then you can open them all the way and then you still get a ton of natural light coming in the room and then my favorite part about them is they open up like this this one's probably the better option to open up but Ooh. anyways all of them do this you can open up all of them like this and then they have magnets where you can or they like snap how they snap back or whatever so I love that. Let me, I don't know the exact width. Oh, you have to like pull it together like this. I don't know the exact width of the blinds, but I know these are like the thicker version of shutters. <clears throat> and so the reason why we ended up doing shutters is because one, they are the most durable and I didn't want the kids to ruin whatever window treatment we got because I just felt like it would be inevitable whether they're throwing stuff climbing up or whatever the case is trying to mess with them i mean Melo's still at that age where he could easily just come in here and be messing with them or something so they're pretty durable they do have a warranty on them as well so i'm a warranty queen now that i'm in my real adulting era so they have a warranty on them and they are the only type of not the only type but one of the few window treatments that you can do on your house that actually increases the property value so if we decided to sell these will actually do something to the value of the home if you just do like roll up shades or your own personal customized window treatments that somebody might want to change when they move here it doesn't really add value these also help to keep the house insulated so whether it's winter or summer if they're closed they'll keep the cold air in if they're you know whatever they keep the or they'll keep the heat in, whatever. They basically just help to insulate the house as well. Um, Cause that's where a lot of energy is transferred, you know, from the windows or whatever. So yeah, I'm happy with them. I'm very pleased. The install did take a while. It took a while for them to do it like a couple hours, but nonetheless, they're here. Also, y'all don't hear the kids. They're with their grandma doing some little outings or whatever. She just wanted to take them so they could go do some things. But they're supposed to cock so he has to come back because one of the trims is missing on Carter's window so I'm gonna have him redo that a little bit but they're they basically put this whole unit on top of your existing window seal um <clears throat> so it looks flush it looks nice like I like it so yeah we basically did shutters I saw I showed you all the ones in my room I have two windows in my room this is the big room that's gonna be now Carson's room and then Mello's gonna move over to the other room which I think I was talking to you guys about a little bit and I did get Carson a different bed I think I was telling y'all so this bed right here I'm going to return or see if anybody in my family 
needs it or anything like that before I return it. But <clears throat> basically, I'm going to return that bed. I'm going to get Carson, like I said, the same type of bed. They're actually out for delivery today, so I'm not going to put them. I'm not putting them together, period. But they'll get put together at some point. Y'all will see them. So same thing for... So it's the same thing in here for Carson's, I mean, Carter's room. I'm not going to like, I guess I can open them a little bit to like show you all the lighting. But yeah, basically, that's what they look like. They also open up. I'll show y'all in here too. We got them. I didn't even know we were getting these in the bathroom. I completely missed that on the measurements, but they all open. So you can open up the windows, which I feel like is really nice. Let in some fresh air, which I love doing, especially when it cools down in the fall and winter time. But then it also gets really dark when you close them up. So these are the ones we got in here. I'm just going to leave them closed since nobody's here anyways. And then this is what's going to be Nello's room. I'm going to keep the same decor in here because I still think this is like super cute. It's got the dinosaurs, the, all of that. And then yeah, we're going to organize eventually. I'm just kind of like going place by place, but... I don't know which one is a good way to open these. This room gets the most natural light though, but it still gets dark enough in here now that they have the shutters for Mello to sleep in here. So the next thing I'm thinking about is like these windows right here. I don't really know what type of window treatments I want to do on those. Because I don't want to do shutters. And I don't know if I want to do tint, like a dark tint or not. So we're just going to have to see. But let's go downstairs. I left my purse over here did i put lotion on i thought i did but my legs are ashy let's go put some lotion on my legs lotion on the legs i need to get rid of this right here it went to the bed frame but i didn't need it so don't mind my floor okay this is so convenient i told y'all i'm literally obsessed because what the heck It's just so quick and easy. I had already put some on my arms, but I guess I forgot to do my legs. I don't really want to wear shorts, but it's like 105 degrees outside, so. Practical, let's be practical. Okay, so the least I can do is take my trash to the trash can. Whew. I need to get some water. All right, so a little update on the patio. Should be done in the next couple of days. Today they're laying out all of the sand. It looks the same as when I showed y'all last time and they're just like filling it right now. So I'm not gonna be awkward and like put the camera on them, but they're basically filling it up with sand right now. So today will be sand and then tomorrow should be concrete. And then it has to sit for like one to two days. So we should be done within our seven day mark. We still look like we're on track to be done in seven days. So fingers crossed. We'll see. I'm so scared to go out the garage, y'all. Like I do not use that garage. There's been like five more ginormous spiders in the garage. And three of them were like dead. And then I killed one. And then, Yeah. I swept out the garage and stuff, but I'm just like, I'm over it. I don't even want to go over there. I'm looking for my water bottle. I think I left it in the car. We're in a rental because y'all know my truck is in the shop. It's a Kia Telluride. I just rented it off of Turo. So let me put y'all on just because if you're young and you need to rent cars, you should rent them off Turo and they're cheaper. You still get a young driver differential when you pick them up from Turo, but they're a little bit less expensive. But Let's go in the car. I was going to sit here and just really talk those ears off, but we need to um, get moving and grooving because I don't want to be out all day. I really want to go to sleep early tonight because the kids are staying the night at their groom house and I just do not want to waste the opportunity of sleep. Oh no. Oh, I'm looking for my little camera. As y'all know, I'm going to get all anxious up at Target and I just want to do I just want to take my little camera where is it I hope it's in the car oh no I don't even know which car it's in 
Is it upstairs? I don't think it's upstairs. Okay, let's go check the cars. Oh, I got my new curtains in too. They're in that box right there from Amazon. So we're gonna hang those up today. Um, the white ones that we see. And then I'm gonna look for a white rug at Target. Everybody keeps telling me this is like too black and they don't like it. And then I also ordered more of the wooden panels. I, from now on, will measure things. I apologize, because this whole thing could have been done at one time, but I decided to be eyeball it and measure it with the width of my forearm and think that that was gonna be accurate. Anyways, <laughs> so I got more wood panels. We're gonna cut them and then extend them all the way out to the floor, which I feel like should be a pretty simple project. I do think I'm getting back into my DIY era, um, but we'll talk about that when we get in the car. Let's just get, let's get a move. I'll move on it, child. Let me get my keys to lock the door. I'm going out the front because it's just less intimidating than going out the garage because they're always right there by the door. And I just know one day I'm just going to walk out and I'm going to feel personally attacked. And I would rather not. So let's go. Oh my gosh, so I got this new package in for the kids. And I think they're going to love it. Maybe dead spiders right here, too. Okay, we're in the car. So things that I do like about the car, because I, I was going to tell y'all, like, listen, it's got this little tiny sunroof right here. I personally, let me just get the other back. I don't like the way this car drives at all. Like, at all. I don't know if it's because I'm just used to riding in my range. It is just a very smooth ride or what it is. But because it's such a big car, I feel like it rides so rough. However, this is live. Please listen to this. Hold on. Sit down stop arguing what else do i be saying while i'm in the car i don't really be saying sit down i'd be like stop arguing face forward keep your hands to yourself do y'all hear in the back there's a mic back there because it's three rows in here that's the only thing that i think is like low-key live <clears throat> but yeah i don't know what model this is or if it's whatever whatever i don't really know but i can't get the apple carplay to work in here so i was like mm, that's kind of giving tomatoes but it is connecting to my bluetooth maybe i don't know how to work this car anyways those are just my little mini thoughts and reviews on it i was like because i was thinking about like maybe getting a kia telluride <clears throat> since my truck had been messed up but <clears throat> i don't like the wireless i'll probably take my braids oh. down my braids are starting to look rough i was watching one of my old vlogs i usually never do that like this is like one of my first times ever just like really picking up my camera i mean picking up my phone and like watching one of my old vlogs but it's just kind of like nice to go down memory lane um sometimes and i was looking for like this specific part in the video with the boys um like a little clip that i wanted for carson's birthday so anyways <sighs> let's go precisely what i assumed it is packed it's packed and people are walking in the middle of the street and this is why i don't come outside i don't come outside get somebody else to do it please immediately why did i think this was a good idea i should just place I'm telling y'all my social anxiety is horrible like too many people it's just not mm -mm. what even is anxiety why do we even have this y'all can't even see me it got dark okay so the first thing we're gonna go do in here is we're gonna make ourselves comfortable we're gonna get starbucks this is really my target you know what i'm saying i'm in here all the time people just don't see me because i'd be here early in the morning like 8 a.m on a weekday but I can't, listen, they not make me feel uncomfortable in my heart. I'm I be out to pet and pop myself. It's, it's, oof. <sighs> Why am I like this? I don't know. I, I don't know. I gotta pray about this because I'm sick of this. I get it from my mom. My mom gets so bad anxiety in like the stores and like, like places with like crowded people or y'all know what I'm sure that. Anyways, I get it from my mom. Thanks for what I'm saying. Okay, <clears throat> let's go.
the people obviously here still for doing the patio so if y'all hear them in the background they also might be looking at me so if i start to get a little awkward but well, they can't understand me i can't understand them so really you know anyways all right let's get into the haul of everything that we got i keep y'all in with me but just to recap i got these little balls for the couch because i've been trying to think of pillows that i should get for the couch because like the couch is already big in itself and so i don't think square pillows are the vibe so i got these round ones i'm gonna throw them on there and then we'll go look at it and see what it looks like i want to get like different colors but i haven't seen any like this so i was like yeah let me just go ahead and get those because i think for the living room colors i'm just gonna do like earthy neutral toned colors and then i'm getting ready to put my fall decorations up anyways so i'm not gonna get any more like decor pieces for the shelves i think i'm just gonna decorate it like for the seasons through the holiday seasons um because i have all my little knickknacks and stuff and then once the new year starts if we kind of want to go back to that then we will um oh i also got this laundry basket because right now all the kids are just sharing carter's laundry basket that's in his bathroom so i got one for Mello's closet and carson's bathroom or vice versa and then this package i'm excited for it's for the kids it's from target so it's fitting for this haul but it's basically i saw it on somebody's instagram story and i was like add that to my cart and get it immediately because the kids i feel like will have a ball with this it's basically and it's it was on clearance too so it was like 20 bucks it's an inflatable um easel and so they just paint on it and then you rinse it off with the hose and then i just thought this was so cute i don't know if it comes with paint or not but i have paint and all that stuff so i'm not worried about it so anyways we got that i got paper towels so we're out of paper towels and then I got Pampers and Cruisers for Mello. He's in a size seven. He gonna have to potty train soon because that boy is not gonna be able to fit no type of Pampers in a minute. But he needed some more of those. And then I got paper plates. I got these, I don't know. These are like a little bit darker than the ones I usually get. They were less expensive than the lighter colored ones and there was more in a pack. I don't know if it was on sale or what. But I got these. Um, I'm gonna work on that today too. Uh, today I'm working on like getting my calendar and like all my stuff like organized. I've been like telling y'all I need to do all of that. Um, I want to work on my auto deliveries, like things that I know that I always need, so I don't have to continuously go to the store for them. Like they can just come from Amazon, and I can set how often they come. So I'm gonna add paper plates to that, also paper towels to that as well. I got some more period panties have a little bit left over from my last cycle but i need like one more box and then i got some kiss press on nails um these are not the exact ones that i usually use they're medium but i'm just gonna cut them down to make them a little bit shorter but i decided that's another thing i'm gonna do today is just like search for like a nail tech that i really like that i can go to so i'm tired of just going to like these different salons like i personally like getting my nails done and getting like cute designs sometimes or even just simple stuff but i want like a nail tech like an actual nail tech not somebody who's just like in a salon that i just go to one day you know i just i haven't i don't have a nail home so i just want to find somebody like more consistent so i'm gonna do press-ons until i find somebody basically i got some scrub mommies for the dishes exfoliating gloves because i don't have any i got a new deodorant because i haven't been feeling the one that i have right now i don't know what scent it is but i got the karen coconut because i think that just smells better and then i got a whole bunch of mighty patches because my face like i'm on my period it's breaking out in a ton of places but i got one to do for my chin like the strips because i've been having like just a lot of like I don't know just like little zits on my chin and then i got the retinol one because i just wanted to try it out i have like a smile line right here and i'm not getting into botox and all of that like if i decide to do that later in my life then cool but i'm not going to do any of that so i'm just going to go try out something like this and see if it works if it doesn't oh well we're just gonna age we gonna get older if i have a midlife crisis later on then so be it but anyways i got the mighty patch invisible pimples and then I also got the original one. So I can wear these overnight and then I can wear these like during the day if I still am having 
like a little bit of pimple. I got this one because it was cute. And then I got some more plastic forks. I should have two packs. And then I need some hair ties. Even though I'm about to get my hair done on Monday, I don't know. I only have two hair ties in the whole house. And they're both in my head right now. So I needed some more just as backup. The kids are going to be so excited. Like, they get so hype about new socks and underwear. They are their daddy's child. But anyways, I got Sonic underwear for Carson. I didn't really, he didn't really need underwear. He has a ton of pairs that still fit him from, like, hand-me-downs from Carter. But Carter needs some new ones. But I know if I didn't get him any, they, he's going to be like, Mom, why didn't you get me any underwear? So anyways, I got to hurry up. There's only one minute left on this memory card. I need to switch it out. Look at these. Flash and DC Marvel. Carter is going to flip out. He loves the flash. And then I got them some socks. So some Spider-Man socks. Oh, I actually didn't mean to get these. I got these because I didn't see the other ones at first, but that's okay. He can wear these to like sleep and stuff. They're just Minecraft ones. Um, and then look, they had Black Panther ones. And these are like the good, nice, athletic brief boxer materials. He has some of these in so like the Sonic. But anyways, yeah. These Spider-Man, super cute, some more socks. These are Sonic, these are PJ Mask. Carson really likes PJ Mask. I think that's PJ Mask. Or is it Paw Patrol? Oh, it's Paw Patrol, he likes Paw Patrol. Ooh, I'm running out of time. We got Ninja Turtle, and then Jurassic World for Carson. So, anyways, let me switch out the memory card and I'll come back and get y'all. Away. Apparently this is a two pack. Look at these going the laundry room. Okay, we gotta do our Instacart order, so let's look through the pantry and the fridge really fast, see what we need, don't need to get rid of and make a little list. My HelloFresh comes on Sundays, and I think I still have one more, because I didn't cook on Thursday. So yeah, I still have one more chicken meal that I can make. So my plan for like cooking and stuff is I'm sticking with my Hello Fresh meals and then I'm gonna make like a soul food or try a new recipe like, you know, from scratch ish um, on Sundays. And then like realistically probably take out or go out to eat Friday, Saturday. Like, you know, gotta have some type of balance. You know, I'm cooking, okay, cool, but your girl also gotta have a break, so. In here, I know off rip, we need fruit snacks. We need muffins. There was Chex Mix in here. I really mostly ate the Chex Mix. Let me actually make a list because I'm just talking right now. So we need fruit snacks, chips, noodles, we're good on pretzels and crackers. They didn't really put a big dent in those things. Um, we got peanut butter cups. Oh, we need macaroni cups. Well, I'm really just about to make a batch of macaroni. Carter has only been eating like macaroni for school. Let me see if we have bread. We got enough bread. I'm gonna get some Hawaiian rolls. Some chicken nuggets for Carter's lunch. Um, we need some Gatorades for practice. I feel like we're good on chocolate milk. Oh, apple juice. Apple juice for lunch. And then I'm gonna figure out whatever recipe I'm gonna cook for tomorrow. And then I'll get those ingredients, but I'm probably just gonna pick one of the things from TikTok. 
take a little recipe for this one. I really do like this baked smothered chicken recipe. Okay. I, I'm not in my poppy phase anymore. These have been sitting in there for so long. So I don't need that. We've got eggs. We've got lunch meat. We need, oh, shredded cheese. I'm going to try and maybe do a little bit of meal prepping too because Carter really likes those sausage biscuits that I make from scratch, but he doesn't like the microwave Jimmy Dean version. I pulled the trash out. Sorry, my friend had called me. But I finished cleaning out the fridge, so now I'm about to go take this trash to the dumpster and then I said I wasn't going to clean today, but I feel like I still have to do the dishes at least so I can at least start on a clean slate. But let's take the trash out and then order the groceries. And then we can hang up these curtains in the office. Because I just want to see what they're going to look like. And yeah, BRB, let me take the trash. goodness gracious okay I gotta take these off first I'm gonna return these I think I have to return them by Monday okay sure just fall apart you know? oh, oh, oh. I had a feeling that was gonna happen Okay. I learned in a color design class on TikTok that white pairs really good with just like, I mean, green, olive green pairs white with just like a very like pure white. So that's why I'm going to switch out the rug for the white. And then I kind of, I really like to do a rug though. I'm like, I don't want to get rid of it, but it doesn't really just go in any other place in the house. So, Ugh. I guess I gotta let it go. Alright. I don't know if I'm gonna like these either. Already, I'll see, why are they like that? They're like a velvet material. I wanted something more like. They're like velvet, like the chairs. I wanted something more light, like an, an airy, not like. I don't know. Let's hang them up first and see if it's really that bad. Or these are longer too. They go all the way down to the floor, which is what I originally wanted. But y'all know I am the queen of not measuring. She got it. So. Mm. I gotta get the step ladder to try to hang these up. I don't even know if I'm gonna be tall enough. Honestly. Hopefully these look good because I do not want to re repurchase another one. <laughs> My period is starting to kick in. I'm starting to get exhausted. Probably going to take a nap. I ain't even going to lie to you. It's giving that kind of day. step ladder so hopefully I'll put these on the right facing the right way I'm facing the same way okay oh, I gotta flip them is it gonna work like that oh my gosh I put them facing the opposite way I gotta fix it I gotta turn this one around. Mm. Is that shit I be talking about? Okay. Step ladder. I don't know if I'm qualified for this height wise. We're about to go around and find out. Okay. 
Okay. Um. Ooh. I gotta get closer to the other side, but then how am I gonna keep this side up? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I can't do it. I can't even get to the middle one. I'm not tall enough. Dang. This looks a lot better, though. With this white. Will that stay on there? If I try to move the thing? Let's see something. When in doubt, <clears throat> I think I might be able to do it. I might not be able to get that middle one, but I can get it on later. Oh, shit. started to slide. How did I get that side up there but I can't get this side up? Where the math is not mathing. How would I do that? Why can't I reach it? Hmm. Interesting. story. I can't do it so I think I like it though. I think I can get the gist. Okay. I'm gonna just set them over here on the chairs for now. Whew. Okay. Where am I gonna find a white rug from? That is the cag. I think I'm going to do a soft launch of my podcast and try it out in this vlog. That way we can get some feedback and see what y'all think before I really just like try to do do it. So I don't know what I'm going to talk about on there, but y'all know I can talk. Oh, excuse me. Let's try to think what I want to eat for lunch. Oh, I need to place this first, this face to fall over. I'm gonna go get in my bed and do it upstairs. Turn my heating pad on because I'm happy. I'm a little bit crampy. <sighs> okay. <sighs> I had to change out of my outside clothes real fast before I got in the bed. So I could really get comfortable. But I'm gonna place my Instacart order and then oh my gosh, I forgot my iPad was dead. No. Okay, I don't really have too much that I have to do. I can just do it on my phone. Usually I like to do it on my computer because it just like it's a bigger screen and then I'll like find things that I don't need to get that I'll buy. But anyways, child, I'm gonna have to charge that up in a minute because I'm about to lay down. I'm not about to get up right now. I think I'm gonna just eat lunch after I wake up from my nap and place the grocery order to come in like like later in the afternoon that way I have a reason to get up. It's like well, Did I get a good nap? No. However, it's like it's like hit or miss. Whenever I have the chance to take a nap, I don't take a nap. And then I'd be wanting to nap when I can't take a nap. Anyways. My freaking I laid in my bed, I chilled, but I'm like, okay, you ain't really doing nothing productive, so you might as well just get up, because this is not what this time is about. We need to get on our Zoom. And I still haven't eaten, literally a drop of nothing all day. And it's about to be 3 p.m., and the groceries are about to be here. So I'm like, okay, should I just go make myself some noodles? I'm gonna just do noodles instead of ordering anything off Uber Eats. Basically... Today I want to get my calendar together for the next couple months, which I could have been sitting here doing this entire time. I was just laying in the bed since I didn't go to sleep, but 
Can't go back in time now. Hmm. Where's my bonnet? Let me put my bonnet on. I mean, I know I already look a mess, but. You like my voice? It turn you on? Wait till you see it. Um. Okay. <sighs> Boom. Anyways, I'm gonna take my iPad downstairs so I can put it on the charger and then let's go. I need to pull my ponytail down because the bonnet is giving bow peep, little bow peep, little bow peep. Excuse me. I'm hurt. Okay. I need a Coke. Let's go make noodles and a Coke. Charge the iPad. Then the grocery should be here by then. And I got a little bit of work to do today in editing, so we're just gonna see where the day takes us. I'm digging the pink. I don't know if y'all can hear that or not, but they have some music playing. <sighs> Noodles and a coat. I finally accepted that it's okay that my caffeine kick is soda and not coffee like everybody else. I don't have to force myself to drink coffee even though I don't like it to get caffeinated. I can drink soda because soda and coffee are equally kind of as bad for you. I mean coffee by itself but most people put a ton of sugar, creamer, so you know what? Never mind. That's why I hate wearing tank tops because I have empty arms. Real bad. Real bad. <laughs> I should have got some of those portable or like heating patches from Rio. But I don't think they sell the Rio brand at Target. I think it's only Walmart and Amazon. No, I'm lying. I've gotten them before at Target. I think. But my back and my abdominum. Abdominal, abdominal section is crying. Tomorrow for dinner, we're gonna make baked chicken. So exciting. Cause I'm trying a new recipe, so that doesn't really sound that exciting, but you know, trying new stuff for me is always fun. Cause I really don't cook. Like I do kind of, I do kind of cook a lot. I've been on my cooking Zoom lately, but as far as just like trying like new recipes and stuff like that. Cause y'all not getting the same slump of smothered chicken, which is kind of baked chicken, but I'm baking it a different way. I'm also cooking it with rice. So it's kind of smothered chicken, but we're doing it differently. Different seasonings, different um, type of like gravy base. And then we're making like real green beans, like fresh green beans and trying a new way to kind of like smother those. So I'm excited. Also, I've got the bright idea. It's my problem. I have new ideas every day. And that's why I'm about to get a calendar. Let's get to my schedule because I be doing shit like this. But anyways, so y'all see the pantry is pretty just builder grade type of pantry. And I was thinking like, I always wanted like a butler's feel type of pantry. And if y'all can see, we don't use a lot of the space in that pantry. Like maybe... Maybe as the kids get older, you know, they'll have like more snacks, they'll need more stuff. Like I'll be shopping in higher quantities. So, but anyways, just hear me out. We don't really use a lot of the pantry space. I'm not going to cap to you. So I was thinking about like knocking everything out and then like DIYing like a butler's type of pantry. Cause y'all know we still need to take this out, like this whole door frame, 
push the fridge back that was the whole thing we moved in and i kind of went to have like an arch um like little doorway here whatever but yeah like you walk in and then i just want to read i just wanted to read the pantry i don't think there's any way i can like better organize it to make it aesthetic i just feel like the way it's built is just not like practical and functional for the space like i could make it like a lot better like we could get like a little drink fridge in there like a countertop more drawers to like appliances stuff like that but i saw this girl do it on tiktok and i was like oh i'm inspired but we're gonna wait on it we're gonna wait, we're gonna wait on it there's a lot of projects i want to do around this house my problem is i'll be thinking that i need to do everything tomorrow and i don't and my man thank you to my man he need to get his builder skills up immediately okay because i don't need i want i want to do diys but one i don't have the strength when i be seeing women do the diy projects with the big wood and all the tools and stuff i'm like how i want to do that so bad but i'm just like i don't think i can like i don't think i have the strength one to lift the stuff they do they be busting out i just i don't know how they do it honestly i would love to get into diy i just don't have any patience i'm not very like meticulous about little details that matter when it comes to doing like building projects like measurements instructions it's not really my thing so i just don't have patience that's the problem i just don't have patience like i'd be thinking like oh i would want to do that in one day and for it to be done and realistically that wouldn't happen so anyways lunch of a champion here i want to sit at the table but i'm pretty sure they're all sitting right there so i'm gonna sit at the counter the music is so loud the questions are gonna be here soon though so i'm not gonna go back upstairs unless i forgot my phone which i think i did hey siri play music oh my god my phone We got the groceries, so let's put, oh, well, let's do a little, a little haul. I feel like I get the same things every week. Tomatoes. Blackberries. Blueberries. Strawberries. And then... Let me just bring y'all closer to me so I don't have to walk all the way back over here. Because what sense does that make? None. Okay, we got granola bars. Carson is obsessed with these. Literally. Fruit snacks. Two of these little immunity juices. This is for me later. I got a couple packs of pickles. Carter has really been loving pickles in his lunch. Got some Mexican shredded cheese, just in case. Wine roll sliders. Carter has also been liking that in his lunch. I got myself these little naan breads just to snack on. They're, they're pretty good, I think. Chicken stock for tomorrow's dinner Chex Mix Life cereal I'm starting to like trying to work my way back into like kind of eating breakfast in the morning but also I don't know if I'm gonna make myself like a full course aesthetic meal because I just really don't be that hungry in the morning but anyways these nuggets are a hit 10 10 recommend. I should have got chicken wings. I also got some chicken thighs for dinner tomorrow. I got hash browns and french fries. French fries to go on the side of a little chicken nugget. 
And then, what did I say these were? Hash browns? They're tater tots. So, anyways. Had a random craving for those. Okay, here we go. These are biscuits. So we got biscuits in a can for Carter's. They're still doing this thing with the cinnamon rolls, the mini cans, I don't know. But cinnamon rolls. And then the recipe that I'm making tomorrow calls for cream of chicken and herb. And then macaroni cups. Two packs of apple juice for Carter's lunch. Whole milk for Mellow. Oh, Gatorade for practice. I accidentally got the box and those. I meant to take those out of my cart, but I just wanted to get a little bit more that way. I, like, I think this week we ended up like running out of macaroni and cheese for one day, so I just want to make sure I back up just in case. To my knowledge, I did not order Rice Krispie treats, but Carson really likes these, so sure. And shrimp noodles, because we're running low. I think this is the last bag. Green beans. Some parsley. I thought these were bigger. I did not mean to order these two things. Onion. Let's put everything away. I was gonna, I'm like looking at the dishwasher. I got distracted. I was waiting for the groceries to get delivered. I started working on my little calendar for y'all know i've just been trying to like organize my life so i've been working on my little calendar and my weekly planner and all that kind of stuff so i'm gonna put the groceries away really fast unload the dishwasher yeah unload the dishwasher load the dishwasher i think that's pretty much it for the kitchen area i still gotta do a little bit of work tonight Oh my god, I thought I was going to be able to go to sleep, but I don't know what I've been doing. Okay, let me just put all this stuff away really fast and then I have no motivation to do this. My period is sucking the life out of me because I'm thinking about like how can I organize the fridge. Am I going to organize the fridge right now or am I just going to put everything away and I think we're gonna go with just putting everything away. I still have tomorrow to like, you know, do all of this. But it's also like a mini road trip today, so pickles, cheese, onion. These go in the fridge. Can I be honest with you? I'm not about to do this right now. I don't feel like it. I don't feel like it. My cramps are cramping. I was cool where I was at on my little computer, but I'm not I I'm not in the mood today. Or at least not right now. I need to clean off some stuff on my computer because like I said, I still got to edit a little bit later. But also, I want to finish mapping out what my calendar looks like or should look like for next week. I forgot I was getting my hair done on Monday, so I started like doing all my what I'm about to do. And then I realized I'm going to be at my hair appointment all day on Monday. So, my biggest thing I think why my schedule is not organized is because I don't stick to non-negotiable days. So, I'm really trying to just be, like, strict on myself as far as, like, my routine and my schedule goes. And just, like, not booking for myself or stuff, like, in the middle of the week. Like, for example, I'm getting my hair done this Monday, but, like, I'm not booking a Monday appointment anymore. Like, I don't care if I can't get on somebody's books. I don't care what their availability is. Like, I have to stop just taking things that are available based off of somebody else's schedule when it interrupts my own schedule when it comes to, like maintenance appointments and stuff because it might sound like a small thing but I really just kind of like you know when you like have your whole week planned out and then you're like oh I forgot I had to do this on this day but it's not normally the day you would do that you just kind of like accommodate it to something else like somebody else's schedule basically so I'm going to not do that anymore I'm gonna go to this appointment because I've had it booked for like a month 
and I can't cancel it because it's non-refundable but I'm not gonna do that going forward I'm just gonna have Fridays be my maintenance day and just work like schedule out all my appointments starting for whenever I can get availabilities on Fridays with people so if that means I have to miss a couple nail appointments or pedicure appointments or whatever that's what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna sit down and do that um either today or probably sometime this week but since I'm sitting here anyways let me grab my phone and we can answer some of the questions this is very much not the podcast but soft launch podcast just to get a feel of how the whole thing is gonna go I'm not even gonna like really hook up my mic or anything because I need to play around with that still but we'll like put it right here I'll move this stuff around and then I'm gonna come chat with you guys um, and we're kind of going to end the video that way. This won't be the ending because probably this is going to be a long conversation. But I just want to sit down. And I, I want to talk, but I want to sit down. I don't really feel like doing anything else right now. So I'm trying to see how loud it's going to be with the background noise. Then I'm like, I don't know when I'm going to record my podcast either. I think he's backing up into my driveway. This truck. The guys for the construction or the concrete are still here. So let me move this. Okay. <clears throat> mic check testing i feel like do you, does the mic have to be like really close to your face like this or do people just have it like off to the side also please whatever i say on here even if you're like yes girl do not take a video of me and post this on the internet this is just for us okay listen i look a trifle mess with my bonnet on and i'm not taking it off i thought about it but i'm not taking it off Okay, I think I'm just going to talk about like recent things that have happened lately in life. So y'all know, this is, this. I'm, I'm trying to think of the timeline of my vlogs because they were a little bit out of order for a minute, but not out of order, but like broken up into half weeks. But this is the week that Carter started kindergarten, which I've been talking to you guys a lot. So somebody asked me just like, how's things going? Like things with kindergarten, etc. And I'll be honest, I think I talked about it briefly a little bit. I'm not feeling the kindergarten at all. Um, I will be going up to a different school tomorrow, I mean Monday, which is more of like a private school and kind of seeing if there's any chance that he can still go there. I don't know what I was expecting when he was starting school, but it was just this is not what I was expecting and I had been talking to someone who I know that works at the school and they had already said things about like that school has like behavioral issues and stuff like that and I just feel like the vibes at the school is giving me like making me go back to my younger self and I don't I'm I'm at a different place in my life like I don't want to be up at school arguing with people or like you know just being in that like petty mind state of like arguing with people's mamas or arguing with teachers um because I can be I can I can do that I can be there and I don't want to be there because I feel like I've outgrown that version of myself and I'm also not confrontational so I feel like that puts me in an uncomfortable position but the way just this whole first week with when I tell y'all I've been beefed up about the mouth three people at the school already I'm like no nah. ain't no way ain't no way which I know it's just the first week so it might have just been like a rough patch so I'm trying to like wait it out but I'm quick like that's another to like one of my toxic traits it's like a good and bad thing but like as soon as I don't like something oh you do not have to worry about me I'm gonna go that applies to my child in his school he he's about to go he can come stay home with me and I can homeschool him if it's really that deep like I'm gonna leave <laughs> so um anyways yeah it's just not been exactly what I expected and then I feel like it's also just really hard because I feel like this is when parenting starts to become like real parenting and you're like navigating like more things about your child like as far as their behavior and all the information that they're taking in and like what they're influenced by um when they're at school and so I just want to make sure it's an environment that he is going to be like positive positively influenced in and not negatively influenced in I know Carter is very strong-minded he's very independent and I don't think he's like super easily influenced but I just don't want him to be impressioned by things which could happen at any school like don't get me wrong and I know it's more about the parenting at home but it's also like we say that but is that really how it happens you know what I'm saying like I'm thinking about okay my brother and he's in high school and then I wasn't just not in high school like you know I, I was just in high school not that long ago it feels like anyway so I'm just like thinking about like even if like parents do everything they can do a lot of kids outcomes and choices that they make are influenced by the people that they spend the majority of their time around so if they're in a school for eight hours spending the majority of their time around their peers or teachers or people other than their parents what are they going to turn out like? 
What are they really going to be influenced to be like? You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Was this in an awkward position this whole time? I can't tell if it's like just on the side of my cheek or what. Anyways. <sighs> but also the other thing about Carter coming home from homeschool, because y'all know that's something that I was thinking about. It's like, oh, maybe homeschooling him. Um, I'm really think he's enjoying the time being away from his siblings because him and Carson were in the same class when they were at the daycare and they spent all their time around each other in school and sports and all of those things. And Carter really just likes like his independence and to kind of do things on his own and to have his own friends. And I can understand that. Like I didn't have a sibling that I grew up with that I was like super close in age with that was like always up under me 24 seven. But I did have a best friend and she lived with me while I was in high school and we did everything. We were in the same classes, like extracurricular ac activities. We worked at the same job. We slept in the same bed. We were going to go to the same college, like all of that. So I can understand like, okay, maybe sometimes you need like a break from being around that same person 24-7. Um... So, and he really does like going to school and like meeting, like he loves his teacher. He, 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 Carter likes school. Like he's had like a really good first week. He hasn't complained at all. He's like on one ago. Like he had no tears, no drama, no nothing. Like he was just off and left me and was like, mom, I'm a big boy. You can stop right here and I'll walk the rest of the way. And I was like, okay. Um, but anyways, like I said, yeah, it's just like me coming into like a new chapter, like letting him go a little bit out into the world, but also still trying to make sure that I'm doing what I'm supposed to do as his mom so that he, you know, makes the right choices. And I think every parent's goal in life for the most part is for their kid's life to be better than theirs or to help them navigate decisions and choices to make life easier on them because we've learned from the mistakes that we've made. And I know it sounds really deep for kindergarten, but a lot of shit goes down in elementary school, y'all. Like, I can remember, like, in elementary school, you start talking about, like, sex. You start talking, you meet girls, boys. You have boyfriends, girlfriends. People are kissing on the playground. And I can only imagine, if that's what it was like when I was in elementary school, what it's like right now. And I, that scares the shit out of me. I can't, I cannot, I cannot. It's too much because I don't want him exposed to that, but I know it's inevitable, but it's also like, and then I know I said I was going to get him a phone or if I didn't mention that or not, I thought about like getting him a phone. Me and Aaron have both talked about it and we're just like, it's not a big deal for us for him to have a phone. I know some people are like, no, their kids can't have phones because uh, I didn't have a phone till I was. Okay, well, we're not living in the same day and time we were living in back when, even when we were growing up, we didn't really have cell phones. You know what I'm saying? Like that they were just coming out when I was getting in like middle school and stuff like that. Um, so personally, I'm not one of those parents is like, oh, he's not having a phone because I didn't have a phone. Like, I think that's kind of like ODing it because um, we're not in the same generation or time that we were in then. Like, that's how we communicate. I would feel safer and more comfortable if he had a phone, but we didn't get him a phone yet. So more of the stories, he came, he came home and he was like, everybody has a phone. So it's kind of one of those things where it's like, I don't want to get him like an actual smartphone. I was thinking about getting him like a kid's phone, but then it's like, okay, he's going to go to school and then everybody else is going to have an iPhone and he's going to be like, mom, why can't I get an iPhone? It's just so many things to think about when you're making parenting decisions. And I just don't want to make the wrong ones, which I know in inevitably is going to happen somehow, some way. But I just hope that he grows up to know that that's not my intention. Like everything that I did was in his best interest, truly in the moment and wholeheartedly. But anyways, let's not get too, too deep into it. Um, let's talk about kids with their cell phones. So what do y'all think? And what is y'all's opinions about kids on cell phones? Because I just said mine, basically, like, I don't think it's a big deal. However, um, there will obviously be parameters around having the phone. Like he's not just going to have the phone like, oh, he's sleeping with his phone in his room. He has the phone whenever, like, obviously at his young age, he's only almost about to be six. Like that's too young to just have like unlimited access to the cell phone. Um, I really don't want him having social media um yeah I feel like there's just not a good way to censor social media like if they need like a kid specific designed app for like social media app platforms I think like Instagram is for adults like because you have the explore page and it's not just your friends it's not you're just seeing like this specific child 
or children appropriate content so he won't be having social media but I know if I tell him he can't have social media and then he's gonna go and he's gonna be like me and he's gonna make it behind his parents back and then I don't want them to do that either so it's just like how do you do this there is no handbook for parenting and I feel like I had like experienced two extreme ends of parenting like when my mom was married my stepdad he's super strict like my sister is six years older than me so like when phones were coming out in high school he didn't want her to have a phone she got a phone anyways because she had a job so she bought herself a phone he found the phone she got in so much trouble like it was always this thing like she always had to be sneaky because she wasn't allowed to do anything because he was so strict but then my mom when I was growing up oh I had no rules I could do basically whatever I wanted but that's because my mom was more so just like mentally checked out like she didn't have time <laughs> like so there was just nobody there to tell me what I could and couldn't do and luckily I mean I think I was as responsible as possible with the sort like of having that much freedom as a young kid like I didn't do a lot of things that I could have done um however I did have a baby at 17 so <laughs> that is yeah I feel like there's heck there's got to be a balance but it's also like, I mean, I guess maybe it just starts with like having open conversations with him because if he's going to be exposed to it anyways, then I should, well, Aaron and I should like have the conversations with him about those certain things. So then he knows what like, uh, like his view and stance should be before he gets the outside world's influence. Cause I think that's where a lot of parents mess up is because like they don't talk about anything. Like, for example, like my mom never talked to me about sex, birth control, nada, nothing. Never had the awkward conversation ever, not once with either of my parents or any of my parents um and then yeah then I didn't feel comfortable telling my mom like oh hey should I get on birth control because if I thought if I told my mom I was active she was gonna be pissed which when she did find out she was pissed so yeah send help just send prayers I really don't know and that's why I be saying like I cannot answer questions like I can give my opinion but please don't take this as advice because I just don't know it's like I'm just figuring it out you know what I'm saying I don't know these certain type of things I don't know I gotta like go through the motions figure it out and see and that's why you should always listen to people who are older than you that is the biggest thing that I think all young people could take advice from if somebody's older than you and they've been in the situation that you've been in before I'm not saying all older people's advice is wise but most of the time they're telling you based off experience and they know so you should just listen to them i've been telling my little brother that a lot lately i'm like i know you want to do your own thing i know you think you're grown i know you think that life is just going to magically be whatever you think it's going to be when you turn 18 and you have all this oh i'm going to do this and i'm going to do that which is great however life doesn't really go like that and if you would listen to the people who came before you it would save you a lot of time and hassle and all of that so Anyways, that being said, that's how kindergarten's going. <laughs> I'm not really liking it. I'm not really liking it. I will be honest. <sighs> there are so many questions. Mm, 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 mm. We're gonna have to do like different segments or series maybe because I talk way too much to just probably touch on like one topic in one episode which is always also why I want to do my podcast with like a co-host because I feel like that would keep me on the straight and narrow path in other news in life lately I feel like I finally have like a grip on this whole nighttime thing with three kids it's not perfect every single day but I've kind of just been really like my main goal with the nighttime routine was for it to be like really intentional and for each kid to get their own like specific one-on-one -on -one time with me um and just for them to have like a good easy you know no fuss no drama type night routines which obviously that doesn't happen every single night but basically for the last week I've been doing like dinner with one of the boys so one of them will either help me cook and then whoever didn't help cook they'll help clean but that just gives me some interaction time with each of them to be able to like help them with something but also them learn a life skill as opposed to me always trying to find different activities to keep them occupied i just have them doing more things with me that i'm doing and spending time with me and that's also been helping because it cuts down on the chaos and the noise because if one of them's with me the other one is playing individually or independently um Mello is pretty chill for the most part thank 
the Lord Jesus. He has his days, but he's pretty chill and he'll like, he'll, he'll occupy himself too. So he fits into that category, but um we've been doing that so we've been cooking together and then we've been eat, eating dinner um all together around 5 30 and then um what i've been doing is i've just been having carter and carson chill out and watch like tv or a little show or something while i get mellow ready for bed so then while i'm getting mellow ready um so then i'll get mellow ready for bed i'll do his bath um, read a little book with him, rock him, and then put him in his bed and he'll be asleep. And then I'll go to Carson and do the same thing with Carson. I used to try to put, um, let me not get off topic. So then I basically repeat the same thing with Carson, do his bath, get him ready for bed while Carter chills. Obviously Carter is the last because he's the oldest, so he can stay up the latest. That is the method behind the madness. So then I do Carson's bedtime, read a book, pat his back, do prayers, he goes down and then Carter is a little bit more independent. He can take a shower like on his own and stuff, but um, he'll take a shower. Then when he gets out of the shower, then I'll help him get ready for bed. We'll do book, prayers, and then go to bed. And that's been working really well because for a while they just had like, when they like weren't in school and didn't have like a structured schedule, they were just used to like watching TV until they fall asleep. But Carter will stay up way too late watching TV some nights and then that affects their behavior the next day. So I've been trying to like eliminate like having TV time right before bed. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like, or as they're falling asleep, if that makes sense. Cause I think it's also just like a crutch um, and it doesn't hold me accountable to being intentional with their nighttime routine. If I know I can just like throw, throw them in front of the TV and then they'll just be quiet and then I can do whatever I want. Like I, have just basically like no we don't do tv which i've used to not do that when they were younger and then we just kind of always like different seasons like things have been different but i'm trying to like get back into just like having no tv as they're falling asleep um and then spending that time with them to make sure we're praying we're reading a book and they have been just loving that um and it's been going really good and then they haven't been fighting me when it's time to go to sleep because before like if i don't read a book and like sit down with them i'd just kind of like sit in their room or let them watch tv but then it was time to turn it off and go to bed they would be like oh i'm scared or oh i did it i don't want you and then cry and tantrums and now it's like they know like after we read the book i'm gonna pat your back for a little bit we're gonna say our prayers and then they go to sleep and they don't get back out of the bed it's not like a constant going back and forth um kind of thing that toddlers love to do um so yeah that's been nice um and then I also feel better about myself as a mom too because I feel like okay I'm done like I'm getting this done I'm doing the right thing like I'm spending quality and intentional, intentional time with them um so yeah the cooking and the cleaning thing Carter and Carson are doing with me is like Mondays and Wednesdays they have football practice on Tuesdays and Thursdays so um if they still want to jump in the kitchen with me or do something they can but it's usually like quicker meals and then they're off to practice and then they come home and we do straight like bath bed um or like bath read a little bit of their book and go to bed because I get home a little bit later from football practice but yeah so that's like Tuesdays and Thursdays and then on those days I have like some extra time to like spend with Shmello and hang out with him so I feel like I'm finally getting a grip on the evening routine the morning routine not completely perfected but it is getting better as long as I wake up early enough to be up before the kids everything usually runs smoothly um but I don't really have like a big stress on like Carson and Mello just being like up ready and everything done I'm my focus is more on Carter because he has somewhere to be at a certain time and he's going to big boy school so I'll usually just like um wake him up after I make breakfast pack their lunch and then everybody comes down Carson and Mello might still be in the pajamas they might still be asleep I don't really mess with them if they're still asleep because like I said Carter is more my priority in the mornings as far as like making sure that he's ready that he's like having a good morning because I feel like it's just really important to have a good morning when you're a kid going to school because I remember those days where I'd have like horrible mornings um, like at home and then I get to school and then you just kind of have like a weird day because your emotions are like all over the place so um yeah so far this last week has been pretty good I think everything else that's stressing me out is more of my own personal shiite and just like not being organized with my calendar and my schedule, which is not intentional. It's just kind of like, I'm still learning how to balance like being a mom and being a quote unquote like entrepreneur and this being like my full-time job and all of that. Um, and I feel like I always like, I'm still learning how to balance it. It's only been like about, this is my third year. So it's still like, I don't have it down packed. 
I don't have a down pact. Um, and I think it's just more so about like me setting like like harder, more firm boundaries like between like work and personal life, but also when you're a content creator and not just like an entrepreneur, then your personal life and your content kind of like mesh together almost. So I think that's the hardest part about balancing it. So I'm trying to do better um, about it, but not having like an actual like boom, 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 boom is really hard for my brain type or my personality type to focus on and wrap around. So anyways, yeah. Okay, somebody said challenges of being a young parent. I feel like being a parent in general is challenging, but there's things to think about when you're young about being a parent. Like there are some things, this is gonna sound really random, but when you have kids young, just think about, okay, you wanna go on a family vacation, you wanna get a trip. You can't even get a rental car, baby. You can't get a rental car. You don't have the life experiences to help navigate you through certain life problems that occur at a younger age when you have, kid young, have kids younger. Um, the construction noise is really loud, sorry. I can't tell if they're at my house or if they're somewhere else. Cause I keep seeing this guy on this machine, but I'm like, I don't think that's in my backyard. Maybe it is, I don't know. The city was over here the other day though. <clears throat> Anywho. Um, parenting young, you also don't know a lot about yourself when you're young and you haven't fully come into the person that you want to be or maybe like um, finished like your degree to be in the career you want to be or you don't even know what kind of career field you, you want to be in. So I feel like it's hard being a young parent just like balancing all of those things and trying to figure out like yourself like your stages of life are just kind of like out of order from other people who choose to have kids at a younger age um and while i'm not promoting i mean at an older age but i'm not promoting like having kids at a younger age but i also don't want people to be like like discouraged like i hope that people will be like encouraged that like if you see me background and like having a kid at 17 <sighs> having two kids as a teen mom which probably wasn't maybe the brightest <laughs> but you know here i am now it's just more about like how intentional you are and how hard you're willing to work and constantly keeping your mental health up i feel like that's a big part of it like because you don't have a ch ch choice but to keep going um so i feel like you just really got to keep, keep, keep you got to keep yourself together which i feel like is the hardest part about it but that also i think stems from having like a good foundation and relationship with god because everything else can kind of just like be all over the place but if you can keep yourself together and keep yourself grounded then you can always just like keep pushing forward so there are a lot of other things that I probably can't think of, like right off the top of my head that are really hard, probably about being a young parent. Um, the judgment. People always wanna judge you for being a teen mom. Whether it's like when you're younger and you're in that teen mom phase or, or you know, when people just see you and they see how young you are with your kid and they just like make assumptions about you based off of that. Um, is really annoying and then I feel like as a teen mom too like at, you got to be like way more on your P's and Q's especially with your kids like if you don't want people to judge you because like any little thing you can do people will chalk it up to oh you had a baby young and so you don't have any business having these kids if you forget like one little thing or like their hair is not always done or you know what I mean stuff like that so but I think all in all people that have like kids young I think we can all agree that in some way some form like it was just meant for us to be and meant for us to happen and we had kids young but it was like for a reason um and it was a blessing in disguise so no matter what everybody else thinks I mean it was the cards you were dealt and a choice you know maybe you didn't make I don't know but that most of us made so now we just got to do the best we can do and then know that there will be times in our life when we will be able to like have those young experiences like you know when our kids are older and stuff like that or we may not be able to have that but that's okay because we can still have a good life um even if we don't have the stages that other people get to have and the not being responsible in your 20s and stuff like that but honestly i feel like it shaped me up even more from who i was like maturing into like 
grown woman like having kids it just helped me get there faster and get ahead because like mentally i'm like in my 30s <laughs> but physically i'm in my 20s if you get what i'm saying so it just pushes you harder and makes you grind i mean it's hard but i think everything happens for a reason i think now like i said though i'm not promoting having kids young because it is a struggle and if it's something you can avoid and do it you know how you're supposed to do it then it'll probably be easier you know what i'm saying i'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here and close out the vlog um and i will see you guys in next week's vlog tell me what y'all i want your honest opinions of like what you think about like this podcast like just like even if i wasn't talking about these specific top like not about these specific topics but just like the flow of it if you have constructive criticism i would love to hear it i just i really do like hearing y'all's opinions and things and stuff about that so let me know how you're feeling about it let me know if there's a different flow or different structure you think if you guys like solely just want me to answer questions like quick to the point you know you know whatever whatever you know we're just testing it out i want this to be something that's like you know cool for me but also beneficial to everybody else or like what would be the point of that you know what i'm saying so yeah that's it for this vlog welcome to the podcast with no name soft launch that we don't know when it's coming out but hopefully soon um and not with the bonnet on usually and a little bit of better angles and audio but i'll see you guys next week